It's like they're trying to be too meta. You're gonna make them an offer they can't refuse. Much better. Yeah, yeah. You can, you can yeah. buy you a drink. You can. But, but, well, you well, I mean, he did pick up somebody we know. When you sidestep the question, that you technology does not exist. Tim, will you hurry the fuck up? All right, what are we doing right here? I'm trying to fucking work. What is this, an intro? Yeah, intro. All right, this is Tim with A to Z Movie Night. Y'all know the fucking drill. I'm trying to work right now. This is The Burbs. We love it. Hope you love it. Keep listening and subscribing and sharing. Hey, close me out, all right? Hey, everybody. Welcome to A to Z Movie Night. On this episode, I am joined by my co-host and other movie buffs. I'm joined with uh, by, hey. by Zach. Hey, guys. Say hey. Hey. Joined by Tim Postalweight. Hello again. And a new addition we have, we got Chris over here. Chris, say hey. What's Hello. up? Hello. Oh, Chris, oh, Chris Corville. Chris Corville. We're, uh, we're just chilling, relaxing. We're all in our... Yeah, in our, our uh, except for Chris. Chris has the Burbs shirt. We got our... Uh, we got our bathrobes on. on yeah. Because tonight's movie is The Burbs. The Burbs. Okay, so I'm going to do, do a little film synopsis, then we'll get into it. Uh, settling in for some time off in his suburban home, Ray Peterson, Tom Hanks. Uh, his vacation becomes a horror when the Klopex, a suspiciously odd family, move in down the block, uh, enlisting the aid of his paranoid buddy Art and his militia man neighbor Rumsfeld. Ray sends his son and wife away on a trip while he investigates the Klopex. When a neighbor disappears, Ray and his cohorts risk their lives to save their cul-de-sac from the clutches of evil. Uh, came out in 1989. Wow. Mystery thriller, thriller uh, IMDb's at 6.9, Rotten Tomatoes 48%. Pfft. Bull Roger trash. Ebert gave it a 2 out of 4. So, mm. yeah, so that's kind of what we're sitting at. Roger there. Ebert gave it a 2 out of 4? 2 out of 4. He rated, he rated Roadhouse higher than this movie. Are you serious? Yeah, Roadhouse was a 2.5 out of 4. <laughs> that was part of my reason. <laughs> All right, so here's the countdown. We're going to start it, uh, I think, right before the universal slide. And 3, 2, 1. Here we go, guys. The burbs. All right. Okay, uh, so we're gonna do uh, we're gonna do our, our I guess our intro shot here. Uh, yeah. James oh yeah, yeah. Let's all put them up. Give Gotta a little do baby our Jameson shot. shot. Cheers. Cheers. Clinkies. All right, so we've been doing round robin with picks. Uh, this is Tim's pick. So we'll start with you, Tim. Why did you pick this movie? I picked this movie just because this. This film, I mean, it, it's kind of in, in sticking with what we've been doing. This, obviously, like looking at those critics, was this is a cult hit. It found its home on VHS. Everything we do is pretty much a yeah. A cult it classic. was not a huge hit at first because, I, just because you know what it is, I guess they're afraid. Um, but this, the reason we brought Chris in this week was because me and him have a shared love of this. We our our friendship was probably founded on this film and you know a few select others based on the birds. Yeah. Um yeah, nobody probably knows this movie better than me than him. So, Chris, <laughs> what do you, why what do you love this movie? I don't know, man. Like the first time I saw it, I was a little kid and it scared the shit out of me. It does have I, a couple of I thought it was a horror movie. I didn't know it parts. was a comedy. It looks like the movie from it. It's it's shot it's shot like a horror movie. Oh, yeah. absolutely in the music and everything, but uh I don't know. I revisited it when I was like 17 or 18. Just fell in love with it. I couldn't stop watching it. Brewster. Uh, strangely enough, I was reading today that uh, this Gary movie Fisher, was actually huh? number one for the weekend. Really? It came out for a cult movie. Oh, yeah. It's so kind of strange. It came out the same weekend as... It must have not been much going on that weekend. <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> oh, shoot. This is the introduction to our hero. This is why we're all wearing bathrobes right here. <laughs> and I am drinking Lone Star out of a wine glass. Corey Feldman, look at that. This is, yeah, this is my favorite Tom Hanks film, too. This, this oh, is, it was released the same weekend as Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure. Oh, oh wow. wow. It yeah. beat Bill and Ted. That's huh? crazy. Uh, wow. That weekend, but Bill and Ted came around with $40 million and only got 35 and 3 Well, that's close. That's a close Yeah, race. I would say in the long Tom run. Tom Hanks, Carrie Fisher. Like, in the a, long run, you know, Bill and Ted probably made more money than this. Oh, it's yeah. so weird. Like, I didn't watch, like, I watched it passively. Mm-hmm. Like, I've never seen this movie. We found out which one we were going to do. And I, I got it, got a copy of it on Amazon, watched it kind of in the background just to kind of get, mm-hmm. you know, I just wanted to familiarize myself. And I didn't even recognize her as Carrie Fisher until, until like, I was looking up some info. Yeah, yeah. Right. This is, I mean, this is the only other thing I ever saw her in other than Star Wars. Drop Dead Fred. Oh. Was she in Drop Dead Fred? <laughs> Heck yeah, she is. She lived in the, uh, the houseboat. One thing, I mean, the the music in this movie—it's so weird. It's yeah, it's it's very heavy-handed. It's it's yeah. 
It's like cheesy Beetlejuice. Yeah, it almost has kind of a Danny Elfman vibe to it. Yeah. Where, I mean, it's scary, but I don't know. I just think it's very highly uh, underrated. I think it's it's a great soundtrack in this movie because it sets a tone right here at the very beginning. The whole the whole movie is very stylistic. You know what I was... Yeah. Uh, when I watched this when I was a kid, the thing that struck me about this movie is it seems like... Um, Jerry Goldsmith. It seems like a comedy version... Jerry of an Smith, extended... Yeah. Uh, oh, he did Poltergeist. Okay. Yeah, oh, Jerry Gold- Gremlins, Gold- Gremlins, Gremlins Total Recall, a, a Basic Instinct. Great. Yeah. Okay, yeah. He did The Omen. Mm, yeah, Chinatown. Logan's Run, Planet of the Apes. Okay, yeah, so... Yeah, Jerry Goldsmith's one of those top three names. John Williams, Jerry Goldsmith. Yeah. Oh, yeah, but what I, uh, what I was saying is it, it feels like just a really long uh, uh, Twilight Zone episode, kind of, but, <laughs> yeah. but but a comedy, you know, like that '50s sort of uh, around the same time where, where uh, there was McCarthyism going on, and I think they're kind of poking fun of that a little bit. <laughs> Almost, movie, yeah, you know? yeah. There's the there's the, a specific Twilight Zone episode. Yeah, there is a specific one where it's. Do you really know your neighbors? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. They, the paranoia and mm-hmm. well, you, everybody's yeah. a little off. This is too. The, the, yeah, the guy comes such, in. He's like such <laughs> colorful characters. Like, this is a this is a cul-de-sac. And anywhere USA. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Spooner this, Street. This, Spooner Street. Spooner Street. Spooner yeah. Street. Yeah. Chris, yeah. didn't you say? Didn't you say there's something about where where it was shot? Oh uh, yeah. Uh, this is a uh, Colonial Street, right off of. Uh, it's actually behind. It's like a back lot at Universal Studios Hollywood, and they filmed so many things over the last like 50, 60 this years. This is where over like here. Scream was shot, wasn't it? I don't. <laughs> you know what? It looks. <laughs> it, I mean, does, it looks, it looks it like Scream. Close, to me. Honestly, but uh, look it up, Zach. Yeah, I don't know, like the Monsters, Tim's oh, personal favorite, right. Right. Uh, Desperate Housewives, Believe I think. To be that's was, right. Uh, filmed here. Desperate yeah. Housewives yeah. was yeah. filmed there. You mm-hmm. know something? I wouldn't or be surprised is. if I wouldn't be surprised if this whole movie just somebody was like, "Hey, let's make a movie." Oh, we got that lot, and the whole thing sprang from oh, that. Oh, okay. Nobody's so, using that lot right now. Yeah. So the 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 Wikipedia page for Colonial Street, they have a section like a table that's uh, and w- one of the the one of the blocks says non Desperate Housewives. <laughs> so like it was so shot on there that they had to list which ones weren't made for oh, this. Wow. Show, oh wow! Oh wow! Oh god! So it's more famous for that now than anything else. Deep impact. That's kind of looks like the set for Alexandria from Walking Dead too. Kind of has that same. We're same getting little introduced little to all our characters right now with the. I'm mean, look at this guy. Can Bruce Dern. That's best. amazing. So this is the um, old guy from uh, Hateful Eight. That's yeah. the old yeah. the old Civil War vet. I did. I was. I was like I said. I watched it passively, and, and it was just this guy and, and Bert would get along swimmingly. Oh, totally. They're pretty much the same character. Pretty much. Yeah, he uh, he dropped off for a little while. He didn't do anything, and then kind of had a resurgence in his career in the last six or seven years. Last decade. I saw him pop up in uh, wasn't it Django? Wasn't he the he guy in yes. Django too? Yeah. He like mm-hmm. sold off Django's wife, I think. One of the few films that Corey Haim wasn't in with Feldman. With Feldman. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. He's, Thank uh, God we don't need Haim in this movie. Yeah, Feldman was enough. Jesus. <laughs> you know that kid in Trimmers wants to be Corey, Corey Feldman. Yeah, yeah, that was the poor man's yeah. Corey Feldman. He really did. He wanted to be him. She's out there in her slipper slash high heels. Holy shit. <laughs> this, <laughs> this Colonial Street is where they shot a Smash Mouth music video for All Star. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> We're How watching. Not noticed that. We're watching a meme right now. <laughs> Some. Okay, no, okay. no, yeah. <laughs> don't. I find one more. Just one. Oh, staples ass shut. shut. But yeah, you're seeing like right here, with, like Corey Feldman. When you're seeing him, like anytime it's showing shots of him in front of that house, they are not giving you a full, actual view of that home because it's the Munsters house, and it's so recognizable that yeah, they want people right. to actually. They're afraid people would be able to pick it out right away. Yeah. As as we do in the other films, look at those yeah, old products old. on the shelves. <laughs> spick and span in a box. Shit, a lot of stuff's never changed. That Cascade box is the exact same now. <laughs> yeah, yeah. What is their name again? The Clopex? Look, Gremlins. Gremlins cereal. That's oh, funny. Wow. Oh, look at I've that. I've never noticed this never before. Isn't the, guy, the, isn't the guy that directs this? It's the same he, guy. It's the same director. Joe Dante yeah. did Gremlins. He did Piranha. Um, he did a couple of I mean, Oh, he did Piranha? Yeah. Oh, yeah, Prona the Howling. That would make sense with his. I'm acting as uh, as. Uh, so he's he's done like checker. cheesy uh, horror small films. soldiers. I like small soldiers. I don't know. I, I love mean, small soldiers. Yeah, his don't, movies are pretty different. Would that be a candidate? Small soldiers. Yeah, it would, it's it's newer than we like to well, do. Well, Gremlins was kind of the same way. Gremlins was comedy slash. It was it was a comedy horror. Well, I mean, yeah, we, I mean, it's it's newer than we like to do, yeah. but we've somehow stuck to this 
88 to 90 range mm-hmm. for yeah, whatever reason. Pick, I mean, we're only on a, we're a few maybe. in, really, but... You should see I think Small Soldiers would be a good candidate, actually. Dog poop you call going Carrie up Fisher, before she went all crazy. got really bad off on the drugs. Nah, it's probably when she was bad off on drugs. She's still... Yeah, she was she's just to, holding it together. So. She's very functional at the time. <laughs> yeah. You can't really see it. Like, she still looks great. She didn't yeah. start... As a babe. That's not my idea of she didn't start her prolific writing career, I guess, yet. Now, that is Colin Hanks, right? Isn't that his son, or am I tripping? That's not the rapper, is it? Doesn't Tom Hanks no, have like a rapper son? No, he has another son. That's a different son. son yeah. <laughs> that's a different son. I was wondering about this kid, because he's, he's a very small part of the film. It's just... Yeah, this is like he just he doesn't have any lines or anything. Well, Tom Hanks Hardly. couldn't be the hero if he had a yeah exactly. About He's got to have a wife yeah. and son basically to protect. I want to get back. I want to see if that is Colin Hanks. He uh, uh, Tom Tom Hanks is like every man in this movie. You know, he just wants to fucking sit around, drink a few hundred beers, yeah, and just smoke chill an out. occasional the hell cigar you doing that BB outside. Gun, dude? Come on. Now I love art. What are you doing that BB? He's gun? one of my favorite characters yeah. in any film. Art's ever. got a gun. <laughs> yep. <laughs> he uh Oh he's it's Corey Danziger. Mm. Oh, Danziger? Danziger. The rock he, star. He's an activist now. Mm. He's an activist. <laughs> Colin Hanks might have been too young to even be in a movie. Yeah, yeah I don't you're yeah. right. I'm not sure. Maybe I don't know, he's older than us. One of the I'm best sure. when <laughs> When art comes in for breakfast, it's just... I like how they're making this uh, this this sound that it's at least a twenty two, but that's a BB yeah. gun. It's totally a <laughs> real BB loud BB yeah. gun. Yeah, it's a second plate. He's yeah, clear to plate. So yeah, if you really pay, on plate two. pay very close attention to what he's eating through this whole scene, it's so this guy so why didn't you go is he look he's like a he's like a like a knockoff version of another. Actor that's kind of a, the same kind of character actor. Watch, role. watch mm. Carrie Fisher right here. He needs a bigger shirt. That's that. dog food. Because <laughs> <laughs> you see her in the background of that shot. Uh, yeah. She puts oh, yeah, it down, it down. For the dog. Yeah. So they're quickly they're quickly establishing Bert, uh, uh, Art as the bumbling. He's just friend, a doofus. Right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah but that, is, what doofus. else was this guy in? I mean, he was the girl's dad in um, one of those stupid teen like she's all that or. Uh, or not another teen movie. Or I think it was not another was teen not movie, movie where yeah, they were making fun dad. of she, yeah. she's all that. Oh, I see yeah. where he's where he's from. That looks familiar. It's blank check. Blank oh. check. <laughs> That's another. Let's do blank check. That's a you good one. Could, <laughs> we're not, I couldn't tell you. We're not gonna Ed Harris, right? Ed Harris is. He the was guy. in that. That's yeah. right. Yeah, he was a comedian. He was kind of well known, I think, in L.A. at the time. Yeah, yeah. The, around this time, yeah, he was like a stand-up. But he, yeah. but he looks like a like a. Like a doppelganger for another actor that plays the same kind of role. So that's what I was saying. He's kind of like a poor actor, man's Dan Aykroyd. Yeah. yeah. Oh, there yeah. That's, there you go. I'm picking up on that a little too. bit. Yeah, yeah. That's that's what it is. Definitely in his voice for sure. Yeah. No, he it, died like I don't know. He's yeah. He's twenty twenty fifteen. He just passed away not long ago. Yeah. Diabetes. Mm. Diabetes. Was another 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 tie back. Another mm. tie tie back on, on diabetes. <laughs> Went back to the thing. Yeah. What? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wilford Brimley, I got to die. Wilford Wilford Brimley. Wilford Brimley goes ape shit. Hey, by the way, talking about Wilford Brimley, maybe that should found be... out, Zach found out that he actually had. Yeah, he was diagnosed with diabetes like while during years. during, a during the movie, dog. <laughs> like a year yeah. while they're producing. While they're yeah. producing. Yeah. Oh no! So we think it was just diabetic. Rage Y'all know I didn't even know that was Wilford Brimley the, my entire life. Yeah, until, oh, he didn't until, have the mustache. Yeah. He didn't have the mustache. Yeah, I didn't know. We now he's do. eating cold ribs out of their refrigerator and a full pineapple, an uncut pineapple. Open the roof with my telescope. Saw them in the backyard. What were they this doing? side-by-side shot of him when he takes the bite out of the apple and then the ribs. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like uh, y'all, y'all know this movie really well, and I've yeah, never seen it. Oh, well. he's he's constantly eating. It's a, it's a never-ending, yeah. bottomless pit of his stomach. It's making me hungry. Because then right after this scene, Jesus Christ. Like yeah, no. When they're filming this, like I hope they got all this in one or two takes because he's stuffing food in his mouth. <laughs> And you know that food doesn't taste good on the set. Yeah, it's probably it's cold. cold. Yeah, it's probably been know. sitting there know. forever. Craft services are actually pretty goddamn good. What I'm gonna do is I'm I gonna love Mrs. Rome. So, mm-hmm. so how did he get like a wife like this? What's up? Look at him. He's fucking yeah. crazy. What is this? Women like crazy. I don't understand dudes. this. Well, he probably used to be really put together. I mean, he's just I mean, kind of gone crazy. Th- isn't there like a shirtless shot in here? Like he's a pretty ripped old dude, right? Uh, he's sinewy. Or he's got like a he's got like a like a A shirt on or something. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, he's, he's, a, he's, he's ex-military, you know. He's a, yeah. He found some I some guess, ex-dancer yeah. and mm. they settled down. Hello, Mrs. Rumsfield. This is one of the best. <laughs> this is one of the best lines. That kid next door is a meatball. <laughs> <laughs> he's a meatball. That kid, it's a meatball. <laughs> I'm gonna do a shot. Cheers, he Chris. He came out in his robe last night. Yeah, see. The robes was a good choice, Zach. I'm glad. <laughs> well, we're trying to find everything to kind of tie him. it. Yeah. yeah. We're just Chris, trying to Chris find... didn't bring a ro- robe, and we'll forgive him because he's got a burb shirt on. Well, so. Yeah, I mean, come on. That I, I purchased you, for him because of my love shirt. for him in this film. See, it all goes back. So he's been eating constantly. Now he's yeah. chewing gum. And here in a moment, he actually asks if they can like go to a deli. They want to go to the deli and get one of those meatball <laughs> subs or something. He can't stop eating. He looks like he's wearing... What, what's this the costume you wear? Oh, God damn. Jesus. So that's how you know. That's how you know you're watching an '80s movie. Whenever the hot chick doesn't have a butt, he looks like he's wearing one of those. What is those? The spanks. Yeah, yeah. He's wearing or Gerber. <laughs> the uh, the costume the costume department picked a good shirt for him because it really highlights his awful body. <laughs> <laughs> Gigantic goddamn collar. It's like tight. It's like tight under his boobs and then gets loose around his like belly. Like you know, right? you know, in like reality that. The homeowners association would not allow this house to yeah, exist. Yeah, they'd be like, "You need to do something with that lawn, or you got to get out of here." Unless they don't have a homeowners association. It's the strangest street. All these people are outside. <laughs> they're walking around. They're looking at each other, staring yeah. each other down. Nobody does that nowadays. No, yeah. no, it's just back then. But they're the, all, yeah. The color scheme is the pretty Huns? incredible. It goes from beautiful Pops, yeah. green. What's the story with this, with this guy? You guys? Well, it's supposed to be like like fictionalized suburbs, kind of. Well, I mean, just the. See the difference between like the two. The, he looked like a rich. Well, old, Walter's old the old man guy. at the end of the cul de sac. Like, you're just saying how all these people are outside. They all know each other. They're yeah. chummy. They mm. know, he, he's well, they the, know he, each other, but they don't like each other. He's obviously. the old man that keeps to himself at the end of the street that nobody oh. nobody else in the street really likes. Right. I he's obviously got more money than them, so he thinks he's better than them. Well, it doesn't seem like. He's any, not the guy that, you know, invites everybody over for a dinner party. I don't party. think anybody here really likes each other. I think that's what it's kind of playing. They're like, just. He, they're buddies. It's, they just yeah. live on the same street. That's yeah, all it is. But then yeah. the kid's annoying, and then the military yeah. guy's like it's always keeping a dick. up with the Joneses thing, you know? Yeah. Yeah. They just it's like Tom Hanks would not normally hang out with this guy, but because they live next they to each other, they share a property family, line. So yeah. Like, <laughs> well, he's gonna. Yeah, you share a property line with him. I'm across the street. What does Tom Hanks do? What is he in this movie? Does it ever explain? I don't think they ever say. No, uh, he's just on vacation. He's on vacation. They never, <laughs> they never specify. <laughs> What's interesting is the whole thing was filmed just on this little set. There was no yeah. outside shots. They didn't. They didn't go on location anywhere. Yeah. It was all just right here and confined on this one. Yeah, street. and even the interior is probably done somewhere in the same studio. That's possibly, but I probably, believe it was yeah. all right here. Or like long days, you know, long filming days or whatever. They could actually go in those houses and lay down on it. There would be a bed in there. They could lay down and take a nap. You know, it wasn't <laughs> yeah. just like so. These houses are like set up. They have interiors. Like a. Most of, them yeah, are, most of them are facades, but, I mean, they do build interiors. But they probably have, like, interiors with, like, an open wall. And a open right, wall, right. sure. Cameras in and out for the proper angles, oh. yeah. Right. Or they're designed in a way that you can dress them up to look like whatever you want. Yeah. Interchangeable sets. Now everybody's watching us. Good going, man. Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah okay. Sure, right. Now that he realizes everybody's watching. I like how T. Hanks decided to button up just half of his shirt. Like, Let's go welcome to the neighbors. Super, he's super tan, too. Wide open. See, when this yeah, music... Look how tan he is. No, like, short shorts. This yeah. music cue right there. <laughs> it gets super serious. Like, It's so heavy-handed. Yeah. I think this is uh, Ennio, what, Morricone? It sounds like Morricone. I was yeah, about yeah, to no, say it's, it's... Yeah, it's him. It's a uh, old No, it's West. not. It is. It's Jerry Goldsmith. Unless he like sampled him. No, I think he actually used that one he might have pulled specific track just yeah, for that, that one out. shot. Or maybe mimicked it or something like that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, probably just Quentin Tarantino did with yeah, Dino Morricone with and the mm-hmm. thing. Yeah, yeah, mm-hmm. the thing and Hateful Eight. We should sue them. <laughs> well, um, let's. Uh, and here's another little he- talking about heavy handed. This gothic door knock. The, the address <laughs> when he knocks. 669. Six, <laughs> <laughs> wow. 666. Six, six. You know, uh, you know, Zach? You know, Zach almost moved into a house with me that was just like this right here. Like yeah. a haunted fucking mansion one time. Yeah. 
But it's just a fixer upper. But his 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 ex girlfriend fucked it up for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> it was gonna be great. It all comes wait, back I'm still, around. I'm still waiting to. I'm still salty about that. I'm waiting for a good moment to to hit on that. But yeah. I don't even want to say it until we get there. I don't want to waste. That movie was I, that uh, that that house was a, a shithole though. Oh yeah, it's totally big haunted. Time. Big yeah. time. Totally like just like an ancient, just old, big ass. Old like, it was a, like it was such it was an a one hundred and ten year old house. It had, it had, it yeah. had oh, wow. servants' quarters. Yeah, oh, it had, wow. it had, well, right. Yeah, wow. it, it, had, it had like a slave portion. Like twelve of house. foot ceilings yeah. and just yeah, it was impossible to keep warm during oh, the winter. It was, it <laughs> cool oh yeah, no, it was like a three blanket type situation. <laughs> it was yeah. fucked. I uh, wish we could. I wish I could have yeah. moved in there though. I probably would have got my ex. My ex girlfriend stayed there one night and said. I am never sleeping here ever again. Wow. Because Juno would just like look into the corner of the room for nine hours at a time. No, that's freaky as fuck. I slept like a baby. Dog. House, I really did. Of course you like did. The whole house looked like it could each each room was like a set for a fucking horror film. Wow. Like I wish I lived there now. Yeah, we could do some cool shit. There. I know. Yeah, it'd be so great. Talk about a podcast. Ew. Video. That's gross. Like he looked surprised. Like, wait, what? Like you didn't notice the fucking bee in your mouth? Good thing it didn't sting him. Oh, they're definitely in Hollywood. Look at those heels. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Should we like do a, this? Should we, like, like walk around the neighborhood and just, like, as a big group and stare at people's homes? Yeah. Hoping that they'll that sounds come like out a really good idea, us, actually. Yeah. Until they come out. Yeah. <laughs> Suburban Go America's knock on their door, well, interrupt that's, them, that's bring kinda, them brownies. <laughs> that's kind of what they set up for the, through this whole movie is that, I mean, I think I'll, almost always, I don't want to give anything away, but, like, they're... There's not much other than them acting kind of creepy and them responding to it that really the whole movie right. doesn't doesn't it makes you think are these that, people crazy or yeah it may like that's what I kind of picked and like I said I watched it passively but like it's almost like you're thinking that they're crazy the whole time it's like well they kind of they kind of make you guess through most of the movie like we haven't seen these people do anything wrong yeah Barely they're just seen they're just being they're, they're just being, creepy looking they're being yeah. the annoying well, it's, nosy it's, neighbors it's right almost now. like yeah. what what you see that is creepy about the neighbors is almost like it's it could be a figment of your imagination yeah because maybe they're just kind of seeing something they're drumming right. up stuff in yeah. their mind yeah and it's like a way of maybe capturing that is kind of what it seems like he comes out here smoke cigarettes he thinks I don't know hey Ray <laughs> like, <laughs> oh, did, I, did we miss a beer uh, it is a it a yeah, what's he beer? drinking? Right right fake ass beers. They're fake. He didn't have the label out. They probably owe duels because he's a kid. It looks like Milwaukee's. Uh, oh, it's a beast. Kind of, <laughs> kind of see. Or Schlitz. That's a Schlitz. It looks like. Schlitz. I think that's a Schlitz. I really think. I mean, these are two grown men who are hanging out with this fourteen-year-old yeah. dude that lives across the street. You know, yeah, but he's got having great hair, deep though. conversations. And about where, the, yeah, where are his parents at? Where, <laughs> non-existent yeah. in the movie at all. Or does he even live there? Or is he just painting that house up for somebody and he just like sticks around? <laughs> but they seem to know. No, I mean they know him. He's on. He lives on the street for sure. Because he, he lives on the streets. On. He lives. He says it later on. He. What does he say? God, I love this neighborhood or something like I that. I love this street. Yeah. <laughs> it's them. That's the first cigar we see. Uh, we see him mm-hmm. smoke. No. Yeah, he brought it up in the beginning. Yeah. It was a night just like this that it happened. Yeah, he just wanted to smoke some cigars. He might smoke yeah. a guitar. So, the well, he goes over there to smoke. Cause yeah, he pretends he's taking the dog for a walk. Safer, too. You never had to lock your doors. But yeah, as a kid, first time I saw it, I, it was just, I think it was on just either <laughs> CBS or NBC or ABC or whatever. It was just on well, cable or, you know, just... Yeah. Down on the there. It had, it had and uh, in it. You I don't know. It freaked me the hell out. The music, would you, the, the would you lighting. Say this I thought, like this, I mean, y'all really like this movie. Would you say it's like in your top three? Oh, God, that's... Mm. I wouldn't a say top three. Top is difficult three. That's to a difficult, down. yeah. I would need top it's three. It's hard to top... I mean, doing any top, top list is, is pretty juvenile, anyway. but like, it's definitely one of your favorite movies. It's, it's one of my def- favorite absolutely, movies. Absolutely, yeah. I watch okay, it a couple you, times. Would you say it's in your top five rewatchable movies? Sure. As far as, yeah. As far as movies you can watch over and over. Yeah, and never getting tired of it. Vile stench. It's just it. I don't know. It does. It's got a good vibe. I love the way he tells this story too. It's. I would love for Tom Hanks to go back and just do like a comedy film. Well, this was right after this was when he started taking more serious roles. Look, he's a this thespian was, now. Okay. This this and like Joe vs. the Volcano. <laughs> after this, Forrest Gump was hey, like what, 93, 94. What the hell is Brain Cloud? What is that? Yeah, Brain yeah, Cloud. What is that? Yeah, I love that movie too. I've it's, never even heard of Brain Cloud. What is that? 
They go over, they talk to Skip. He said, oh, well, just after this is when he started taking the more serious roles. And I, I'm with you, Chris. I wish he would go back and do a comedy or Well, he'll a host, he'll host uh, SNL like yeah. two or three times a year, and I guess that's his way of getting his silliness out. Yeah. yeah. But I would love for him to actually do an actual like, legitimate comedy again. There's, there's something that I like about this style, these style of movies. Uh, you know how you, you have certain movies that you can just put on the background and just kind of hang out with mm -hmm. just playing? One of the things, uh, one of the, I guess the types of movies yeah, that the cool I usually go to for that is, is, is comedy thrillers or horror. I, like, I just, I don't know why, why I like them so much, but it's just something about that genre that's just, it's... You mean like horror with like a comedy like this. edge? This is a, this yeah. is a comedy yeah. thriller. Right. Uh, there, right. it's, a, yeah. it's easier plots to follow. Usually those types of films aren't like, well, if you aren't paying attention for two seconds, you don't know what the fuck's going on in the movie. These yeah. movies, you can kind of come in and out of the room. Sure. Yeah, and, makes sense. and you still know what's going on. Yeah. It makes them a lot easier to watch and rewatchable. I've gone to sleep watching Halloween and Halloween 2 the last two, three nights. There's, there's, there's something be, wrong with you, too. I probably, become, I think so. Those have become comedy, I guess, now. They're not yeah. Just, there's not as, as scary. Well, uh, Scream was always like that. Scream was... Oh, it's, oh yeah. It's, Scream, it's a thriller tongue, that doesn't... cheek yeah, But, it's like, very they, meta. they do the tongue-in-cheek so, like, re I really like that series. I, I really like I love the first one so much. They don't hold up very well for me, personally. I watched all of them. I don't now, think they're all great, but... But I, I liked, I liked, maybe not the second one. I I, they all first one's incredible. Moments. First one's amazing, and I actually really love the fourth one. But the the last three, one they did eh. was the fourth one? Uh, yeah. Yeah, no, and it was it was awesome because they, they were self-referential mm -hmm. and all those things, but they did By that point, they, they were referencing a, themselves, exactly. too. Exactly, and yeah. they did it, they it did, it in, such a good, they did it in such a good way. You know, they pulled it off. That, the stab you know, how, movies, yeah. How much yeah. cereal does this fucking yeah, family look eat? look at this. Freakies, that's got to be a fake cereal. Oh, well, maybe. It's, no, it's uh, well, like the Gremlins one was real. <laughs> I love that his his lawn chairs are his indoor furniture. <laughs> why, why is he pulling them from inside the house? Yeah. Where is his kid's parents? <laughs> yeah, no, I don't. I think he killed his parents. No, I think I think his parents are like uh, that Jack, like absentee. On, yeah, they're absentee travelers. Like they don't give a fuck about him. They're just traveling the whole time because they do they do show up at one point. I think I could be wrong. No, they don't. No, I'm just making all that up. No, he's pretty much well. Solo they're, throughout the whole film. They're a business power couple, uh, and they sell uh, luxury dog novelties, and they uh, have to travel around the country. Are you making this rubber up? nipples as well? Yeah, I'm making it up, dude. <laughs> of course I am. They're like, there's like a, it's probably like a pilot. There are a couple. There are a couple in uh, in. Uh, he's a pilot. He's always away. There are a couple in Best in Show. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> he's like, he's trying to be sneaky. He's like, come here, and she's looking right at him, and he's like. Outside, like, I got a, she, like she can't see him. I got a. Uh, oh, they just brought up Nebraska. Yeah, funny. and I saw that. Yeah, Bruce Dern was. Um. Okay, big. so I, I got. I got, since we're kind of like a, a weird midpoint of this, why do you? We haven't. We haven't picked any of the movies that we've done, with like any real intention to, to stick to a certain kind of thing. But it seems like we've stuck to, the late '80s. Mm -hmm. And everything that we picked, like, pretty naturally. Well, that's probably because we were a certain age at this time. And yeah, well, I mean, I, I, agree I was with born that. the year this came out. I mean, but I, I guess I wanted to see if anybody else had an opinion on that. I think it was a transitional period, kind yeah. of, like, as far as film and all that shit's concerned. I mean, things were taking stranger risks. I don't know. Like, Coming this, out of the I mean, this movie era. is one of a kind. There's nothing like it. You couldn't remake it. If you did remake you it, you couldn't do a idiot. sequel. Yeah. Well, I mean, it's kind of like Fright Night in a way. It's that neighborhood suburban mm -hmm. kind of or or it goes back to like Hitchcock squad, yeah. and uh you know rear window and they you know the guy he gets his leg broke so he's stuck at home and he starts he starts spying on his neighbor and he thinks he sees witnesses his neighbor kill somebody and it's this whole paranoia and then they redid that with the uh, what was the uh, Shia LaBeouf movie I guess I mean, oh, they're, yeah, they, all, they, they're all uh, referential so, Suburbia. suburbia, suburbia, or something like Dis no, yeah. disturbia. Disturbia, yeah, that's right. That was all, kind of a, all, that all, was a modern remake of Rear Window. Was, These yeah. are basically like interpretations of earlier movies too. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, this is, sure. this is definitely takes a lot of influence from the Hitchcocks. Right, and that's yeah. why that's why in the very beginning I said it reminds me of uh, the Twilight Zone episode with yeah. Spooner Street, and I and all of that stuff that happened in mid century was was like a uh, it, it was like a 
It's like almost like a counterculture sort of thing about suburban lifestyle and, and, and McCarthyism that was going on at the time and, and keeping up with the Joneses and every it was like everyone was living like this, but everyone knew that it was fake yeah. and unsustainable. So And this was like a way of like showing you the other side of it. Right. Like, well it makes it makes perfect sense that they did it they did it to leave it they did it to leave it to Beaver. Yeah. Neighborhood yeah. or whatever. It was like. actually they were still filming a I think it was called Still the Beaver. That sounds very oh, were... <laughs> But they were actually filming a, why did, I don't know a why Leave It to Beaver thing at this like during this time. Oh, like the remake movie. Or Mary trying to ask for consent. What's up? <laughs> I'm trying to steal it. Oh my god. This is probably my favorite scene in the entire movie. The old movie. car. He drives the car all the way up front. Even the car is like old and dilapidated, and they probably all drive like nice Buicks. <laughs> After this is all said and done, Pontiac. Tom Hanks' line no right after this has always been my favorite line. No headlights. I always thought this was the Munster House, and then I found out I was wrong. Which one's the Munster House? This one, the one Corey Feldman lives in. Oh, That's sure. why you barely get like any shot of it. Because like, it's too, it's too, uh, it's, it's too um, recognizable. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you definitely know that's a body. <laughs> of course it is. <laughs> There's like no way around it. All, all their faces, the music, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Man, if you're gonna kill someone, you just put them in a garbage bag and put them in like a very small like, garbage can in your front yard. They picked like they picked like very good actors that look like uh, poor country Circus Polish country? people. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the high waisted blood stains oh the God. outside of all of them. Like, oh, I love it. The high waisted shorts held up with the <laughs> suspenders. <laughs> yeah, the waiters. I love how the music gets really kind of soft and gentle after he starts after he stops banging on it. You think he had prosthetics in his mouth to have that, that um, look? Pretty sure. Those gotta be like mm -hmm. fake teeth, yeah, right? Yeah, they have to be. Looks all, no way he's gonna. Looks all Eastern, nobody's gonna Eastern get a Tom Europe Hanks inbred. movie looking like that. Here comes my think. favorite line Tom Hanks ever delivered <laughs> yeah. Yeah. in a movie. His delivery is great here. That's so suspicious. Goddamn. Don't turn the headlights on. They nobody will see you. <laughs> yeah, nobody will notice. I can see the news report now. They were quiet. <laughs> kept pretty much to themselves. No one would have ever suspected them of foul play. I've never seen that. I've never seen anybody drive their garbage down to the street and bang the hell out of it with a stick up. <laughs> <laughs> Just bang the hell out of it with a stick. It's suspicious, man. It's suspicious fuck. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> See that this would have been the end of the movie if they would have went and looked at the garbage cans, right? I guess so. Yeah. That garbage is going nowhere. I say we wait You know, you know what? I'm getting another whole vibe from this uh from from this set and it's like a Truman show vibe too. Ooh, it's like now no, that I know I that now that I know what it is, it's it's like it's it stands out a lot more. Well, I mean, that's kind of what they I've never to been to California or LA or anything. I've always wanted to visit. That's pretty cool. Definitely is one of the things I want to visit is Colonial Street at Universal Studios. And you never been out California way? No, I've never been out California way. I heard there's some, some internet out California way. <laughs> the one time that I visited California, I was there for a week. And during that week, I was in San Francisco. Uh, record storms and flooding. Like, it didn't stop. Mud so slides. So the, 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 the state would like, the what is it? Is it called the Sunshine State? Or is yeah, it it's, Florida? No, it's Florida. That's Florida. That's Florida. So, the one time I go out there, record rains and flooding the entire time. So you couldn't even do so anything. So I, I couldn't, we couldn't do it. You didn't see sunny Bro. Los Angeles? I saw the Golden Gate Bridge as we were driving to where I was staying. Bro, when I lived, okay. And I saw it on the way back, and it was covered in fog. You couldn't see shit. When so, I lived there, yeah. it's, no, it literally, I it's sprinkled. You got gypped. I was on, totally, so, yeah. so I was on, uh, I was on Interstate 20 one time when it started, I'm, I'm talking like literally sprinkling, <laughs> not even, like lightly precipitating. People freaked out. People go, started. Did they, did people started start driving. Like no, 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 no. People started driving 20 miles per hour. Because Real of quick to make another <laughs> tie. This music right here was in the Tremors trailer, which, Are you serious? in a weird way, really relates God back. Damn it. Yeah. We don't do this on purpose. It's, all yeah, it's not on purpose. It's all connected. Well, I mean, I guess if we pick movies from the same time, you know, maybe that's why it's all bleeding together. 
unintentionally. And this is, you know, Joe Dante directed Gremlins, oh, and that? of course that guy was hey. the neighbor in Gremlins. Who that dude? This seminar it sure that was. That guy in that thing? That was the guy, the neighbor in the Gremlins, and then that he was, was in guy, part two also. Thing. I thought that was Harvey Keitel for a second. <laughs> <laughs> Poor man's Harvey Keitel. I can kind of see why yeah. you would say that, but there's no way. Harvey Keitel. This was his first no role, way. Fuck you. This is the first thing He's not going to be a garbage did. man. It's Harvey Keitel. Is this dude talking about healing crystals in 89? Mm-hmm. This dude's way ahead of his time. Garbage! Garbage! Instagram hadn't even been invented yet, and he's talking about healing crystals. Wait, 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 hold it. Hold, hold, what are you doing? More bathrobes, that's why we got them on. See what? <laughs> But Ray saw them, they moved the bodies and buried them in the backyard. I saw you, Ray. You didn't check at the time. Yeah. What are you doing? You asked me to help. It's public domain now. I'm calling the Delvaney's and having them open the cottage. No, Carol, I don't want What's to that, the, to the cottage. Happy birthday Fine. song? And Dave and I will go and you can stay what? Spot. Oh, public domain? Oh, 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 yeah. living dead? No, actually, somebody owns a happy birthday song. I think Stevie Wonder owns the happy birthday song. <gasps> Oh, man. Man. You know that uh, that Disney that Disney has been um, and it's kind of scary though because it becomes such a large media oh, you're talking about with them Disney, keeping Mickey Mouse out of public Disney domain? has yeah. been fighting tooth and nail to uh, to change copyright laws because mm-hmm. uh, because uh, Mickey Mouse was created in like the 30s right Steamboat Willie and after I think a hundred years. It becomes public domain. It used to be uh, less than that. No, no, it's still it's oh. still like twenty, almost with everyone. And you can you can re up, and the whole re upping thing was Disney made that happen. Yeah, like re filing. So like they've for been it. they've been yeah. like changing copyright laws just so they can keep their uh, right. They haven't done jack so shit with else. Mickey Mouse in ages. Are you serious? Yeah, they have. It's their have logo. Ever, Mickey yeah. Mouse Clubhouse. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. No, I mean like right, like right. Disney's logo. And, is they, and they're Mickey still Mouse. cranking out kids shows. No, you're right. You just don't. I mean, you you probably it's not you as got, big. It's been you a while kid, since my daughter yeah. watched that. Well, show. Yeah, but yeah. She, yeah, yeah, they're a little older than than what the Mickey Mouse are for. Back now. in the eighties and nineties, Mickey show, Mouse was huge. They oh, do yeah, they absolutely. do baby and like kindergartner shows so yeah. that they can get them hooked on the image and then, right. Yeah. And then you grow up. Yeah, then you grow up and you, you buy their shirts. Now you can grow up watching Marvel and. They're inside the garbage truck. And of course, his robe camo. is camo. Yeah, <laughs> of course, he has a camo robe. And it's so short. Look at it. His robe is like dog. Now he's about to hang brain out of that thing. Yeah, dog. If I was that like garbage man, look I would her though. That would fight with me. Do talk down to me like that. I love that his camo robe is like doesn't even go past his waist hardly. The big tough military guy's got this super girly like silk <laughs> robe on. Her makeup's always done, her hair's teased up. And you could tell there's, like, lights there. That was not natural sunlight <laughs> yeah, on her is. right there. So they must have done I mean, some. none of this is sunlight, is it? Probably, I probably, I mean, is this, obviously, is this the raining, is it? obviously the raining was rain machines, you know, dumping water on them. Night crawlers. Night crawlers. Yeah, yeah, they're fishermen. Fishermen. Oh, fishermen. When you look at like old, mid to late '80s to early '90s, maybe even to mid '90s stuff, other than like say these two garbage guys, yeah. all other characters, look at their color, look at their their shirts, the way they're dressed, they're all completely different. It's like they all have to stick out. They're very colorful. Yeah. Well, yeah. they're well, they're all different characters. Yeah, they're characters. They're true. Days. But these she's, days, she's it's the not virtuous like that. character. Obviously, they're cartoonish. Mm-hmm. Yo, can we bring back like big hair? Can I'm we down. just can we just that that's gonna be our next giveaway as a bottle of hairspray. Oh, so the the, <laughs> nah, old, the, the older looking garbage guy is in is in Piranha. He's in a bunch of kind of yeah, uh, horror yeah. movies. He's in mm-hmm. uh, Little Shop of Horrors, uh, Night of the Creeps, Terminator, uh, the first Terminator, and also Small Soldiers. So he's been in quite a few. Oh, another small. Well, yeah, those are we got a lot a of those Dante, Dante movies. Yeah, yeah. Dante puts him in everything apparently. A I like of, how your uh, directors. He's in a, he's, he's in a lot of the ones that are produced by uh, Roger Corman. Oh, what, what? Well, Roger Corman was he, on the first produces? Piranha. Yeah, he was oh, yeah, the producer on the first Piranha. Definitely on Piranha, yeah. Perdonna. Perdonna's. Perdonna's. I heard there's a lot of Perdonna's out California way. Other uh, than other than Ray's house, this is the first time we've seen inside of one of the houses. Death Race. Death Race 2000. The and original? I bet the, that, yeah, that yeah, would be fun. That was an, that Sly Stallone. Yeah. Old Sylvester. He was a uh, machine gun Joe Viterbo <laughs> in that movie. That's it. Which was his birth name. <laughs> right. I bet whatever that was on the TV probably had some significance, too. Oh, it was probably a clip from the old black and white. Might have even been a Twilight Zone episode. 
You want to not steal that from Walter's house, please? You want to not steal that from our neighbor? <laughs> this house is like the beginning of the the wood the wood paneling phase. Yeah. Oh, look at that cabinet. Yeah. Stay right here. Did you really have a childhood if you didn't grow up with wood paneling? Bullseye! I love look how good that dog is. He's just yeah maintaining. He didn't get it. He's on the countertop. He's like, man, I never get to be up here. Beautiful place to keep a computer. Well, that's not their dog. That's, that's the old guy's yeah, toupee yeah, and the old guy's yeah, yeah. dog. Yeah. Yeah. Was his name Walter? Yeah. yeah. Walter. Left his toupee on the stove. <laughs> Walter left that's this in a house. big hurry. Oh, are they in Walter's house right yeah. now? Yeah. Because they found Queenie, and Queenie's all dirty and hadn't been fed, so they were going to check on her. <laughs> <laughs> all right, everybody out. <laughs> We've been here long enough. Yeah, we've broken enough laws for today. <laughs> See, there how he gets hands on. He's like shoving all of them. Like, get out, go. Come he's on. the yeah. dad. He's like, come on, you. Well, guys. I mean, he's kind of he's kind of in a state where like they're all they're they're all freaked out, and he's like. He's this kind of makes sense, he's but he also boy. has the flip side. Is like I'm on vacation. This is ridiculous. I don't want exactly. this to be a thing. Yeah, because then I, then I have to deal with it. Yeah. That's, that's but, he, the thing. but he also kind of wants to. Yeah, that's the thing with his character. He's, he's trying to just hope that this makes sense because if it doesn't, that means he has to deal with it, and he doesn't want to do that. He's playing the role of the, uh, the whoever's watching the movie. I guess you could say. Right? Yeah, kind of. If it means if it's a thing, he has to deal with it, and he just wants to fucking sit around. But he can't help it to get involved. No, no, yeah. he does not want to to sit around. Like he says, he wants to. That's what he claims. But he's he can't too... help. He's propelled. Yeah, he's, he's in. He's in. It, in uh, what is it? Uh, he's getting sucked. Compelled in. to do this. Yeah, because you know? he's the hero. He wants to. Uh, again, yeah, kind of reluctant hero with all the other movies. We, uh -huh. Kevin Bacon and Tremors and Kurt Russell and the thing. <laughs> now you know their dog would be like, get the fuck away from my phone. <laughs> I don't know you. Oh, this is one of my favorite lines coming up. Hands down, one of the best. We used to, me and my sisters used oh, to repeat is that a this swatch? too. Look at the swatch. Yeah. <laughs> the theory and practice of demonology. <laughs> hey man, I'm trying to, I'm trying to raise some demons. What's up? If I'd have been on the plane, it would have crashed. <laughs> What Art says here in a minute to Ray is... I'm telling you, these people are Satanists. As I sit here, they are Satanists. Look, look, the world is full of these kind of things. Look at this. Black masses. Mutilations. 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 What's that What's that movie where the kid plays the satanic record backwards and raises a gate? Is it called The Gate? Yeah. The Gate to Hell? That's a good one. We that was... Uh, yeah. Listen to your wife. Who listens, Who listens to their wife? Listen to me. That was uh, Stephen Dorff. Yeah, as a little yeah. kid, no, in that he's movie. Just smoking yeah. blue cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> My cousin's a priest. He can get us a deal. He said, <laughs> "We can go get some holy water. We gotta get big strings of garlic." This right here. Ray, you're chanting. Ray, do you want him to take your family, kidnap them, tear their liver? Fresh lamb's blood. Jesus, listen to this. This is so great. Ray, you're chanting. Ray. Ray, look. Ray. Unconscious chanting. You're chanting. I want to kill everyone. Satan is good. Satan is our pal. <laughs> You're chanting. Hey, once they get in here, it's over, pal. Ah, it's over, pal. It's so funny how these archetypes have survived for so long. Like they kind of yeah. Like, like how did he make it this far? Well, it's kind of like the Walter Sobchak from from Big Lebowski, and then yeah, oh yeah. It's 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 like a, in in most most cartoons, most like uh, even modern kids cartoons. There's like one guy who's like the main guy, and then there's the silly sidekick. Yeah, there's who's always, usually fat. There's always like a yeah. buffoon, and the sidekick's usually man. overweight. Yeah. He's the comedic comedic sidekick. Yeah. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Week in Jonestown. Where are you going? How's that house plant surviving? A what week in Jonestown. What the fuck is she wearing? Uh, Does anybody wear anything like that? Fake plant. That was real big back then, is having fake plants all over your house. If you're, a, if you're one of our older listeners right now, and you remember the late 80s, do people wear 90s like that? We want to know. Uh, gener like, like genuine curiosity. They do a quick... What is this, PG-13? Yeah. Yeah. But then, like, Kalima. the he's flipping, he's flipping through the channels, and like this was a good night for Exorcist. horror because <laughs> yeah. every channel is like a horrible, gory <laughs> horror film. You're married to Princess Leia, dude. Chainsaw what are you Massacre doing? Part oh, Two. Yeah. That was a weird one. 
Dennis Hopper. Yeah. What? Yeah, it, like, like, and this is this Dennis is eighty nine. Like, so this was Renee in, Zellweger, wasn't that her first movie or part four? Oh part no, four. yeah, you're thinking, you're, no, that's yeah, McConaughey that's and Zellweger. That yeah. one was actually shelved. Like, no one wanted that to see the light of day. And then the McConaughey moment, especially. Yeah, and then the moment that they got famous, Zellweger and McConaughey, they ended up actually releasing it. I haven't seen it, but I've seen clips of it, and it looks absolutely fucking. I, mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't judge them on their early work. Viggo Mortensen was in the next one after that. One really, of his, one of his first early films. Really? The one that was just called Leatherface. Oh. Wait, what? Really? Mm -hmm. I didn't even know that was a thing. Yeah. Tis Vigo? Vigo Mortensen, yep. Y'all ever seen the movie Eastern Promises with Vigo Mortensen? I have not. His butt? No, no, you see you see, you see him you see kill men Fully with nude. his yeah. bare hands with his dick flopping out everywhere. Yeah. It is very jarring. I saw his <laughs> it's very jarring. <laughs> very jarring. He kills a bunch of Russians in a Pull fucking... Like a Tom Hardy move. In a, in a, in a bathhouse. Bath house. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look at, the, look at the length on that saw blade. Hey, man, that's for cutting thick trees. Hot <laughs> saw, babe. See, this was one of the parts that kind of legitimately scared me, the, the, the nightmare sequence. Oh, yeah. For me, it was the skulls. Spoiler alert. <laughs> <laughs> See, now that's better. That's a more of a... Silk nighty, I guess you'd call that that she's wearing. <laughs> Throwing them on a grill, is a be giant grill. grill. This shit's so stylish. Grill. I love it. <laughs> this similar, was similar thing to the Big Lebowski too. Yeah. 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 It's kind of after this. After he has this dream, is when he kind of decides to be more active. Yeah. When you get some dry ice, man. <laughs> <laughs> There's old hogs. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, none of these people would be like this if they weren't so bored. They're just, <laughs> yeah. they're just bored. <laughs> <laughs> the little tiny the little axe. axe and the dog's <laughs> yeah. head. Oh, jeez. I bet that hurts. <laughs> but Queenie's little... fine. Queenie's alive. It's a milkshake. What is this? That's that's the reference back to the story Art was telling about Skip. But that's Art also, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah? With the Skip that went crazy and he made killed people too many... with a milkshake machine yeah. or what? Well, he was burying... He chopped up his whole family and buried him in the basement, I think. <laughs> he worked down at the... You know, went crazy. It was probably a bullshit story Art was telling him. Is that the first well, time see, we see the... Is well, that's, that's, that's the first weird. time we see the patriarch. Yeah, huh? he sees him in a dream. Yeah. He hasn't actually he met him never, in real yeah. life, yeah. but he sees his face in the dream. I was about to say, I think that was our little, our intro to the patriarch. little mess up there. How would he know what that guy looks like yet? <laughs> he's, so, he's, just, he's miserable. Yeah, he's, this is the worst vacation ever. He's fucked in the head now. It's it's starting to take its toll on him. Everybody's had a night like that where you just you go to sleep and have night terrors and wake up. Yeah. Notice that, notice that alarm clock. It doesn't look plugged in at all. Yeah. There's no real plugs in that room. That's what exactly. <laughs> it's, like they, it's like they didn't even fix up the houses at all. They just left all the stock. It, yeah, everything yeah. looks like I mean, like they stock. shot it on a set. They must have, like, half their budget must have gone to Tom Hanks. Oh, yeah, probably. Because prob yeah. yeah. like, yeah. around this time, yeah. was what was Tom Hanks doing? Let me see. I mean, he he had done Bachelor Party. He'd done Bachelor Party um, big. He'd already done big. a couple romantic comedies with Meg Ryan, Joe Ooh, versus the Volcano. Do you really think he's already yeah, at Joe this point? Volcano. Well, I think he'd well, done Joe, Joe versus the Volcano. volcano. Yeah. That was the not, first. Not Sleepless in Seattle yet. No, 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 no way. Still, yeah. Oh, I, this too. When when Rumsfeld, the way they they're like little kids. He can't. He can't, he can't come out until he resembles can he come a man out and Mary. Play? We don't have that kind of time. Oh no, he done he done splash. He did. Oh, splash. Yeah, splash. Yeah. Money pit. Uh, Money pit. Big. I used to love Money Pit when I was a kid. And this, the same this year he did like, Turner and Hooch. He kicks like a little kid, just with his with his big yeah. socks. Mm -hmm. Well, now what are we gonna do? <laughs> it's no fun without Ray. And this is another great scene too. The bones. Mm -hmm. You think there's a chicken bone? See, this movie wouldn't work in this day and age with. Just They're almost like. It's almost like they're the uh, the group of kids. Oh, they're totally kids. Yeah, yeah. grown children is yeah. what they are. Kind of like kind of like the movie Monster House. Do you remember that? That was such a good yeah. Movie. That was such a great movie. <laughs> Just laying here, <laughs> trying get to get some sleep. sleep. <laughs> 
What's that note? Because they, they what do. Was that? What was that? Well, the, he'll he'll explain it in a minute. What, what it says. We agreed to do it together. See, they're daring each other. Like, we're gonna do it at the same time. We'll ring the doorbell at the same time. They're fucking children. He <laughs> <laughs> takes. <laughs> I ditches them. They're playing. Doorbell ditch. Playing ding dong ditch. Yeah. See, now, according to... See, this is the problem. This is when things start going wrong is because Ray wasn't with them. If Ray had been with them, he would have stopped them right, from right, right. making that dumb move. I'm trying to take a nap. I'm only laying here with my eyes closed trying to get some goddamn sleep. Get some goddamn sleep. <laughs> I think we flushed them out. We flushed them out. Flushed them. I was saying that uh, Dante was talking about how, like, the fact this was all, like, shot on, like, one small condensed set and they were really, really wanting to shoot outside of it. It ended up feeling more like a play. I yeah, like a, I could see that. Something that could be like just performed in front of people Jeez. because it didn't need actual real locations. It's just one. Piece. He wrote on the note, said, I know what you've done. Oh, my so, God. So Ray's like. You gotta goose these people every once in a while. You well, they signed it with his name, too, right? Yeah, well, they, the guy saw him leave a note at Walter's house about the dog. Oh, yeah. So he's yeah, like, yeah. they're right, going right, to think right, I did right, it. Right. The old guy saw me write a note. So now they're gonna think I did it. You wrote a note and put it under the. <laughs> this is Tom Hanks fucking being Tom Hanks. Which thing that is? <laughs> that they know what we know. <laughs> I don't know. They just merged somebody. That bone's pretty clean. Yeah, that's been buried for a while. You wanna you wanna hear some uh, creepy that I know? You know how to clean skeletons off? Mm. Ant pile. Ant pile. Yeah, that's good. Clean them clean them dry in a week. That makes sense. Do you know what this? Still on a big old ant pile. And here in and here in uh, the big thicket, we actually have we have colony ants or uh, town ants, and they make like twenty by twenty square foot. Yeah, ant those hills, huge, yeah. scary fucking That's things. Insane. Wait, how do you know that? Biology one hundred and one. <laughs> <laughs> uh huh. You think this came from a chicken? You think this came off a chicken or something? <laughs> it's as big as a chicken. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so like. That means they would have buried a body right next to that fence. And yeah, I guess literally so. underneath and, it. Yeah, yeah, within, and like, within what, the, the few days they've been there? Yeah, and it couldn't have been a foot but the old, the old man, the old man is a pathologist, right? That guy, that dog dug they it up. They might have cleaned them off before they buried him. Murdering people. They're chopping, chopping them up. up. They're burying them in their backyard. <laughs> right. This is Walter. Hey, look. <laughs> <laughs> what a camera. Shot. Look at that giant antenna in the background. Oh, yeah, the satellite. Oh, wow, yeah. I forgot about those. Old giant satellites. I don't know if I would be holding a, a human humorous bone. He doesn't seem to care. Maybe. He's yeah. he's fine with it. I'd be like, man, it's totally humorous. I mean, bone. if there was still meat on that thing, he'd be eating it off of it. Probably. <laughs> yeah, he would, he would. <laughs> is that a note? That's just a litter. Guy's a litter bug. Some litter. The guy's a litter bug. I'd love to get into the psychology of the whole. I'd like to break this down eventually. It's like, who is Art? What does he do? Uh, there, those there's there's, there's this, ro I love roles this. and dynamics. It's it's delivery. No, it's oh no, it's my note. <laughs> <laughs> He's a bumbler. And they threw it into his yard. <laughs> he's kind of a. He's kind of like an encourager. Yeah. Uh, yeah. But he also he also bumbles around enough to where he kind of fucks things up. Yeah, and it's like clearly he has nothing to do ever. He wants what does he do for, around. What does he do for work? That's I what mean, I'm curious I about. I mean, I get I get that Tom Hanks is on vacation, but, but what is Art but doing? What is everyone else doing? We know that Art's wife he is probably has town, like a, like a but we don't know watch. anything beyond he, he's that. He's like yeah. a house husband or something. I'm going to be Fox he's News for a minute. Don't these people have jobs? He's probably collecting disability. You know, disabilities. He's probably scamming. Oh, yeah, I, got a, I got a bad back. I got a bad back. Yeah, he's scamming disability checks for years. And I'll make brownies. Well, he is emotionally unhinged, so that would be a I love how he still has the bone. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he's, like, pointing at people as he's talking. He's carrying the brownies all, like... I saw that uh, only 20 minutes of the original score of the Burbs was saved <laughs> the from, like, pump. some... Yeah, the trash is still in the street. 
But they only saved 20 minutes of only it? A, oh. Only about 20 minutes of this original what score do they was do actually this like saved. Like, if they something like, happened they to the rest like of it. they salt the earth? Yeah, it's, you know. Yeah, yeah. It's, for, the, it's, for, it's foreboding, you know. Aaron. Nothing green grows there anymore. They're just forcing themselves upon these yeah. people. And it's like, at this point, you're like, why are they bothering them? Let them, just leave them alone. Yeah, they're, they've kept to themselves. They haven't bothered you. <laughs> yeah. Carol Peterson from next door. <laughs> <laughs> Again with the... Goddamn brownies. <laughs> there go the goddamn brownies. Hi. Uh, welcome to Very, very patchy brownies. facial hair that guy's got. Dessert. Yeah, that was neck beards before they were cool. <laughs> Just kidding, they're still not cool. Uh, <laughs> There's like dirt and leaves on the brownies. <laughs> Can't even look at me. Yeah. I love how Bruce Stern is like immediately like just intense in here. He's up just, their ass. Oh yeah, yeah. He's being an absolute jerk. I can't believe he's got it all figured out. You know? He's the air quotes hello. badass. Well, I'm I'm your neighbor, Ray Peterson, and that's my wife, Carol, and that's Bonnie. And this is uh, Brumsfield's the name. <laughs> it's so. I don't think I caught your surname. Hans. Hans. Oh, a fine Good Christian, Christian name. name. <laughs> Hans Christian Andersen. <laughs> what are you, Captain? <laughs> you know, Hans Christian Andersen, who wrote all the stories about witches eating kids. Yeah. Oh, pretty girl. Under yours? No, it came with the friend. <laughs> came with the friend. Yes. Oh, is this the dining room? Oh, you me. Hey, what else has this guy been in? It's like, I feel like I feel like this guy's been in a whole lot of stuff. The other guy that plays the doctor has been in quite a few things yeah. since this that we're about Uncle, to meet here in a second. The, the doctor, yeah. Uncle Ruben. Really? I think yeah. the doctor was like in like Biodome. Or he's been in mm. a lot of stuff. He was a, a priest and in, in a bunch of stuff. Yeah. Say we all sit down for a little of the old face to face. Hey, what room? <laughs> yeah, I know the doctor's definitely Watch very popular. Around. Yeah, he's been on stuff. Don't worry, you guys. Art. Look at this outfit. Art's got. What the hell is he doing? He's got this terrible face paint on, as if that's really gonna like that's do anything for him. No, yeah. he's, he's camouflaged. He's got some yellow stripes and shit. Right. You know? yeah. <laughs> Which is bright as fuck. Guy's so bumbly. Whoa! <laughs> There's so many callbacks, like the the headless owl that he shot. Oh, that's yeah. funny. Oh, yeah. So the weird looking guy was. Toss the, the tools. He was over. the voice of Gollum in the uh, in the Hobbit 1977. Wow. I want to do that. Wait, which guy was? The the uncle, uh, the okay. older guy, the, the guy we just saw. Seat. Yeah, him. Yeah. Rude. Uh, he's over there. Excuse you. Peeling their wallpaper back. <laughs> was somebody being hung on the wall? I don't know. It sure was damp today. <laughs> 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 God dang, like, what do you, man, I would I get the fuck guy. out of my house. For real, for real. Are you, I'd be like, are you serious, dog? <laughs> He's puts out of line. He's out of line right now. He's fucking looking at him. You should just like lick it and then try and stick it back to the wall. Yeah, put a little spit on it. Sure was damn. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit, check this out. I can't see what he's doing. The guy that plays Hans. Yeah, yeah. Guess what? Okay, so his, his best known role was Malachi in Children of the Corn. Malachi. Word. That, yeah. it, that little creepy fuck. Yeah, the yeah. tall guy that was like the enforcer. Yeah. yeah. I want to say, yeah. The little redhead. That's crazy. Oh, of course he is. Now, that's, yeah, yeah that's, of course he is. Yeah. That's where I know him from then. Perfect casting. I think that proves my point. He's wearing prosthetic teeth. <laughs> Sardine. I'm trying to cut. <laughs> it's too high in sodium. It's the 80s. Sardine. Oh, gross. Oh, that's well, too why weird. would she think it's okay to be? Yeah, like, yeah just, just, just. Do She's it. like, be polite, eat a why sardine. Not? Eh, fuck it. Oh god, I used to have a friend in high school that used to fucking love eating sardines, and I really couldn't be in the fucking room with him. There was a forty-year-old that went to high school with you. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a forty-year-old. Yeah. My, my dad eats a shitload of sardines. Oh, I mean, hey, god. you gotta get your omega threes. Yeah. yeah, I mean, they're good. You gotta, for gotta you. get your omega threes. That's all Everything I'm saying. Everything that's good you for you is disgusting. <laughs> Tim, you don't eat anything. I so wonder. Eat yeah, you literally eat like 
I would think bread and cheese is about as far See, as See, he actually yeah. eats that. He puts that fucking thing in his mouth. The Academy Award goes to... If I was getting paid a million dollars, I would eat a sardine. Free. Eating a sardine. I'm very curious what his actual pay was for the birds. I, don't I know. highly doubt it was... I mean, it couldn't have been on that level. He wasn't Shit. that... They had a budget of I mean, do you million. think? I mean, dude... All right, dude. Like, uh, fear factor... Less than a million, fear factor, people eat deer penises for the chance to win $50,000. So that tells you right there. What is that? And I ain't gonna lie, I would do We're it. jumping like two decades with that I'd situation, though. I'm just saying, I'd do no. it. This is an A to Z exclusive. I ate a cockroach one time for a dollar. I ate a June bug for free because it was June. My dad did it. He told me to. He was like, he was like I dare you to do it. And I was like, I bet I will. 3.5 million. That's what he was paid that for. Dang. For the birds. Really? That's high. Yeah. That seems like a lot of money. For 88? You know how much he was paid for uh, Forrest Gump? Pro- no, I know. Well, yeah, I would say, profit share? I would say there's yeah. probably a big gap in his pay before and after Forrest no, and Gump. Force, and Forrest his, Gump. His salary probably went Seven, way up. 70 million. Up. Yeah. And, 70 wow. million. But he has profit share, so he gets yeah. points. And so. Forrest Gump, he didn't actually get paid for it. He decided, yeah. he, he well, decided that's what, to take a cut. Uh, from that's what the Nicholson did yeah. with Batman. Yeah, that's what Alec Guinness did with Star Wars. Yeah. Really? Yeah. That's they, smart they, ass uh, yeah. Nicholson for Batman wanted a uh, uh, share of the toys. Oh yeah, of all the all the mer- merchandise and everything that was sold. That dude still gets checked. It's, well, it's, it's, still, it's a life. risky move. It yeah. isn't, it isn't a good move. Because he was like, I didn't know if yeah. Depending on, on his, what it is. On that one, it was brilliant because that dude still gets checks for Batman. Yeah. <laughs> it was definitely a risky move for Alex Guinness because because uh, Star Wars was not established at all and, and a lot of people thought it was going to fail. Same so, thing with Batman. They didn't... I mean, we had the Christopher Reeve Superman. That's true, but... They didn't know if that was going to... But Batman is a very well-established character. For, yeah, for but like, everybody yeah. was still thinking about the campy Adam West right, stuff. Right, Nobody right. knew if it was going to yeah. work at all. Yeah, at the time, there was nothing... I'd like, roll those dice. Tim Burton was completely different. I mean, Michael Keaton was going to be Shit, Batman. Dude, no, that's the thing. is, If Steven Spielberg offers you a movie, yeah, take points on that movie. Yeah. 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 Steven Spielberg, what movie? What what, didn't he do? Uh, Forrest Gump? No, that was Robert Zemeckis. Robert Zemeckis, yeah. yeah. Yeah, Same thing. They SKGs, Spielberg, Zemeckis, and I can't can't remember who the G is. I think it's Brian Grazer or something. I didn't notice until today that Ron Howard actually was one of the producers of this movie. I had no clue that Ron Ron Howard produced this Ron Howard's attached to this. I had no idea. You know, when he was like 35. Well, and Spielberg was a producer on Gremlins. Oh, yeah, 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 for sure. Who knows? It definitely has, when you go back and watch it, it kind of has, like, uh, didn't Zemeckis do Goonies, too? Mm. That was produced by Spielberg. Spielberg produced it. Kind of had a very vibe to it. I can't remember if Zemeckis did Goonies. Uh, I think Spielberg produced Goonies. He produced it, yeah. He He produced it. I don't want to just shoot out facts the whole time, but I'll fucking. And here we come. Here comes the, the introduction to the doctor. And you get to see that, that frame Richard is still Donner. in this shot. Richard Donner. Richard Donner, yes. What's produced by... Uh, the king of the 80s. Sports. Superman. I love that. Yeah, yeah and the, the first, first two Superman. And the Omen, too. That's cool. And Scrooged. Lethal Weapon. Oh, really? Lethal Weapon? Holy shit. I love Scrooged. Ah, we have gifts. <laughs> You knew damn well y'all had people up there. My brother. The doctor. The doctor. The doctor. This guy manages to be like probably 80 or 90 years old and he looks the same in every fucking Every movie. movie. Yeah. yeah. One of the, he, was, he was the priest in Wedding Crashers. He looks exactly the same as he does. It's the Steve Martin disease, man. It's like whenever they, yeah. their hair Early goes white, white when they're yeah. young, like they look the same age forever. <laughs> <laughs> We're kind of, I guess we kind of say we're kind of creeping up, getting close to the third act. You think so? Because, well, yeah, again, so. yeah. again, Art's going to fuck everything up again here in a, in a few minutes. You know, he wasn't invited because they were afraid he would fuck it up. Because <laughs> he's fucked But up. you can't stop Art. He's going to find a way to fuck shit up, you know. He's going to bumble his way. Yeah. That's like, a, that's like an old school stovepipe coming out there, so you know it's going to the basement. He's just picking up their precious paintings. Yeah. He doesn't care about them, moving them around. Well, didn't they already flip it? It's like he was uh, yeah, looking he at can't he figure like, out which yeah. way is like, upper. It, it drives him crazy. Well, yeah. it looks all grotesque and stuff. He flips it around. It's like, oh, okay. He can't figure out which way is up or down. <laughs> <laughs> Those candles, Jesus. Yeah, I mean, do they... 
What's that? That's his. That's his. That's his. Oh my god! <laughs> look at the thing, like that. He's the doctor, like sugar substitute. You mean cocaine? Like that little glass thing that he has? No, that was that was definitely a. a, a why can't I think of little uh, yeah. What's the the thing that everybody talks is about being bad and diet coke? Oh, oh. Well, he says sugar soup, sugar soup. But like the guy carries that around in his pocket uh, all the time. Aspart- Aspartame. 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 You know that yeah, was aspartame. Yeah, yeah, that was yeah. aspartame. You know it was. This was before they knew that was bad, though. Probably that's actually not bad at all. So, you know. Didn't it start giving rats cancer? I read it. I read that somewhere. It gave it gave rats cancer whenever they were uh, given loaded a, down with it, like their body weight. They were given sixteen hundred times oh, the da- the recommended dose, and that's when it gave them cancer. Who? If you gave somebody sixteen hundred times the recommended dose of sugar, they would just die instantly. Yeah. If you give somebody six hundred. 1600 1600 yeah. times any dosage of anything it's probably well, going I mean, to mess you, you up. Well, whenever you get to the right. point where, where, safe where you're putting is. more matter into somebody than they actually have as a body, their body can't that's break it fucking down. kill you. Fast enough. Not to get on a weird tangent, but it it is 100 times sweeter than sugar so you can use 100 times less. We don't know where the hell he is. Well, I mean, it's not a bit I look. Sorry. Sorry. Why are you wearing short He's shorts, like bro? Yelling sorry. <laughs> He's like sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't. I couldn't figure out if he did that on purpose or not. Oh, he got nervous because Rumsfeld yeah. asked him some kind of question, and he. Don't ever see him again. No trace. Or he asked. He goes, "What you What you got in the basement?" <laughs> Dude, T. Hanks has been rocking this shirt for quite some time now. Yeah. Woke him up. Yeah. I mean, this thing. This whole thing only takes place over like a couple, two or three days. Right. Yeah, maybe maybe three days. Uh, I think this is probably the third night. Because this is eighty nine. How long of a vacation do you take in eighty nine? One week. Yeah, maybe a week. Yeah, one week. Isn't it? Isn't it weird that even when Tom Hanks is young, he's still America's dad? Yeah. <laughs> even right here, he's. Look at him. <laughs> the way he's running. Right that's, that's some. That's some dad shit right there. Marmaduke. Release the hounds. You keep a horse in your basement? <laughs> it goes straight for art. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this dog up now. It's Great Dane. Watch, this dog is gonna be something. Yeah, important. it's probably gonna be like a famous yeah. dog. Be another goddamn dog option. Like the White Fang dog. Oh, yeah, the, the... What was the White Fang dog in? The Thing. The thing. Are you kidding? Yeah. It's the White Fang dog, yeah. 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 No way. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, what year did White Fang come out? It's a mount, uh, uh, like, like 92. 92. Well, shit, then that, well, it's a, then, it's a half then that wolf, dog half was probably like 13, 14 well, wolves, years old. Wolves live a long time. Wolves oh, it was a wolf. Okay. It was a, it was it was a half wolf, wolf dog. Okay, okay I see. Dog. Sorry if lambs were frightened you. It's yeah, I, I found, a, I found gold. Oh, no, no. Oh, <laughs> you got that dog's uh, internet movie database up? Hey, it was on that dog's <laughs> IMDB, bro. D-I-M-D-B. <laughs> <laughs> the, only, the, only, uh, the only movie animal I know is Bart the Bear. That's it. That's <laughs> it. He was in uh, the Ed, was it the Ed? The Ed Anthony Hopkins and, and, and Alec Baldwin. Baldwin. Yeah, yeah. He was in a lot of shit. Yeah, old Bart the Bear. I think his last role he was ever in was that uh, that Will Ferrell movie about basketball. Oh god, yes, yeah, semi-pro. Uh, semi-pro, right? semi-pro. I think it was the last movie Bart the Bear was in. To this day, that bear attack scene in the Edge scared the shit out of me. <laughs> that so was the, real the, too. The, that the, wasn't yeah. CG. So the Great Danes mm-hmm. named Landrew uh, after Landrew? Hen- Henry Henry Landrew. A, a notorious French serial killer. <laughs> <laughs> that is deep, man. Maybe we could have a little part. All the references, everything they put, everything they like, stuff the frame in this movie. They're, yeah, they literally do. They stuff the frame with with everything because it's all in this one set. It's exactly. all over a couple of days. Well, I mean, yeah, I mean, they so don't they don't have really to do much with the set, so they could put some money into like making it. A lot of visual cues. Yeah, like, this might of, be the only of, part of that house that had like well, this, I mean, something. These kind of movies are, are um, uh, any comedy comedy horror movies. Uh, maybe that's why I liked them. Like I said earlier, is comedy horror movies are they're self referential and they're homages. That's why that's why they're so fun. Yeah, yeah. is because they bring up. They're not uh, making they, it's tropes. It's all tropes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not making fun, but that's but that's they the pay o- they pay homage. But that's the and that's, do it that's cheek. the fun and the twist of it is yeah. how they how I guess how they how they bring up those twer- those tropes. They and, balance it really very well in this movie. It makes the viewer feel a little bit more comfortable too. If they're like if they're against horror movies, so, they don't uh, like them. The deal, right? They feel a little bit more comfortable because us? It? it's a little more relatable in a way. There's yeah, some, even there's some humor. There's there's something. Well, you to have to break the for ice. the for the for the tension to work. 
right. you have to bring them down. You had that you've got to let the viewer relax. So that's why there's always a comedic sidekick to it, yeah. Well, that's why because they got to then they got to did so well they got to amp it back up. Yeah. The nightmare did well eventually. It became more silly than it was actually frightening. You've got to give the viewer a chance to laugh and relax and then you hit them then they're not prepared for when the next scare comes. I think I figured out what Art does for a living. I think he's a golf caddy. <laughs> I can see that actually. I think he's like a, a man-child golf caddy. I don't know if he'd well, be a well, golf no, caddy because, or a really well, bad they, trainer. They make a reference later when he goes, "Hey, Kara, look, Just I about bought this about this golfing glove. That's how much we're gonna be doing that much golfing today." So, oh, yeah. I mean, look at his shorts. He kind of looks like. Well, that. wait till you see the outfit he's in later on. Yeah, he definitely has got those cheesy plaid uh, okay, golfer pants. Listen, listen to this. I was looking up. I was trying to see if that that Great Dane was in something else, and I found like some some like fun facts about the movie. So, and this is kind of relevant to now. Corey Feldman and Michael Jackson were very close friends during the shooting oh, of this yeah. film. Yeah. Oh, that during this time. Jackson never visited the set, but Feldman would bring Bubbles along with him to work. What? And but he had to be kept in Feldman's trailer while he was shooting, and the chimp would shit in the trailer and spread the mess around the interior. No way. And it became such a big problem that Dante had to ban <laughs> Bubbles from the set. <laughs> oh my God! I had no idea. Because I mean, Feldman was was at that time was probably almost as big a star as Tom Hanks. Oh no, yeah, maybe he was not as at this big. Point. He was. He was. As big. But, but they, they more, put him in here as a looked, bit part. He was as big. Just to have his name on. Well, they right. wanted to attract a younger and crowd. And he was a star. Get a younger crowd in there to yeah. see Corey Feldman. So like he was fucking around, hanging out with a goddamn chimp while they were doing all the extra with Michael shots. Jackson. Yeah. Hey Corey, He's Corey, I want. I'm, Corey, you can take bubbles for the week, okay? okay Would you Corey? like to blow bubbles? He's doing take drugs in his terrifying. trailer with a fucking monkey. Like, like to have like a chimp hanging out in your trailer, like that's fucking horrifying to Dude. me. Dude, they, 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 those things are so, so brutal. I know that you. I they're, know that they're unpredictable. I know yeah. you know this. No, it's not even. Me. They're wild animals, and they can tear yeah. your fucking. Yeah, that's face what I'm off. saying. You know what a chimp? They does can be to you? nice to you for. You know what a chimp does whenever they whenever break it your hands you? and eat they your face. They break your hands and they tear your face off. They they tear off your generals. They basically try to. Remove you from well, no. The first the food chain. The first thing to do is well, they that's, break that's, their that's instant, the way that they work. Well, well yeah. they they break your hands so you can't feed yourself. That's right. the first thing they do, and then they attack your identity, which is your face, so no one else can identify you. I took my daughter to that Disney uh, movie Monkeys or whatever. It was like a documentary mm -hmm. about mm -hmm. just monkeys or whatever, and it might be one of the most frightening things I've seen in ages. Monkeys just, are the only animal I'm afraid of. Uh, uh, it's well, pretty insane. Well, chimps honestly. actually, actually chimps. Okay, so Specifically, chimps. One, one gripe I, I love nature documentaries, but one gripe I've always had about them is they don't show a lot of the the more the bad stuff. No, the don't. more brutal shit. They don't show uh, killing. I mean, they'll show like a lion catching something, but they yeah. won't show them. They'll show right. pieces. And recently, there was a movie. Uh, there was a I think it was a The Hunt or some documentary on Netflix. This it was about great. about says, predators. Look what Art's wearing. <laughs> there you go. I told you he's a caddy, man. There you go. He had to have already had that outfit. But so. there was a there was a scene where like this tribe of chimps. Attacked a tribe of like little, like smaller monkeys. Yeah. And like then, like they they're they're attacking them. them they're up. jumping through there. But then there's a cutscene after that, a B roll where was it like was it them it's eating a, it's them? It's an arm that I guess they'd ripped off and they were like chewing on it. They're eating it. And yeah. it's like I can't wait until nature doc and they'll get there eventually. But nature documentary is so like the brutal side of, of shit, like just the honest side. Yeah, of it, because you know? if you're gonna do a nature so documentary, monkeys, like the show stories. show what fucking happens. No, you know? I agree well, completely. Chimps are so scary because they're incredibly smart and they're still cannibals. Yeah, super strong. Yeah, and they're four times stronger than us. This I, is another. I'm fucking they, terrified of them. Anyway. They, how they keep them. It's what y'all mentioned it earlier. They're keeping them in very distinct, separate outfits. Oh yeah. Yeah yeah. I mean, look at this. They're what is they the fucking A team right now? <laughs> Art, That's how it was. Well, back how, then. how did Art? Ha like, I can understand Rumsfeld's got all the military well, stuff. Well, two of them are eighteen. Art, Art has hard hats and and all this shit in his house already. It, maybe yeah, that has blueprints. something to do. He's with, got some blueprints and shit. Yeah, yeah, maybe that's what he does for a living. Maybe he's. He's a bumbling architect. T. Hanks looks like he's ready for a, an 80s gap, you know. I've always, I've always thought, like, why does he have that big blue sweater on? It just looks so hot. <laughs> We're burning daylight. I steal that line. Well, you know, the, he, he's also playing, like, there's always, like... He seems what, to what know is, what he's doing a little well, bit. Well, what is that, what is that, uh, that movie, uh, or what's that TV show with, uh, with fucking, uh, <laughs> the tool man, Tim oh, the tool yeah. man. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. His, Walter is the guy who always, like, has schemes or, like, he's doing something yeah. crazy. Like, he's representing presenting that neighbor that has all these crazy hobbies and ideas in a way. No, he was just the advice. Because he doesn't... But he's very involved. Like he, he has he's all a this, bumbling idiot. He that, has all this equipment, but he doesn't know what the fuck well, he's, he's a go, doing. He's a go-getter, too. Like, yeah. 
He was the kid that was like, y'all dare me to climb that tree? You know. You're going to die, And boy. we were like, you're going to get in trouble. No, well, he's, die, the, he's, the, he's a guy with big ideas. What the hell are you doing, dog? execution. <laughs> dead. Should have been. Totally dead. Totally, like, fucked up. You can't fall through a roof and be okay. Yeah. Hey, hey, that pair of cutters wasn't insulated. I'm just saying. No, he fell on a bunch of bags of fertilizer. Yeah, like, good. there wasn't, like, rusty, like, 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 trowels and shit in there that he would fall on. He'd yeah, get yeah, killed. I'm trying to think of other movies or other things that, like, this street could be related to, like, Dennis the Menace, maybe. Like, something... Oh, yeah, kind of campy. Just kinda like campy that, yeah. classic, just your every... Everyday neighborhood. Oh well, I mean, they they totally. Look at it was totally. All of his, all of his nails are blood bruised. Yeah, my fingers are black. He said his fillings are hot. Like the thing, them picking this set to use was not. It definitely wasn't where like we need to save money and shoot it here. We'll shoot here. They're like they did it intentionally because it's yeah. There, it's this is a this is a commentary on suburbia. It, oh, absolutely. It does yeah. kind of remind you of the street that Leave It to Beaver. Lived well, on. we all Leave lived on a street. There, you know? Everybody like, lived somewhere where yeah. there was a neighbor or someone that lived nearby where you were like, they never come out of their house. Look, they don't, and look they don't at this, mow their lawn. The they, paint job. You never noticed, but they, that shot just there. One of those poles is painted red. This one's blue. <laughs> Like, what is he oh, do? Like the, what the is the Corey shape, Feldman do? Yeah, body, totally Looney Tunes silhouette of when he fell through the roof. Well, you guys remember the the, the very opening scene of this that was kind of like that uh, composite of the Earth, and it was zooming in yeah, from the yeah. universe. It literally like it w- it did not look like it looked like America, but not really in a tangible way. And they zoomed just right into the middle of America. Just another day. And yeah. I mean, I would say it was Chicago, but it wasn't. It was just it's mid- it was literally like yeah. putting you just in middle America. Well, it's yeah. just it's meant to be in, in the suburbs. It's yeah, it could be anywhere. Yeah. Roger. Wasn't Tom Hanks in a movie? Roger. It was like suburbia or something. Not. I mean, we or talked to disturbia. Pit. Yeah. I mean, but like Aaron said, he is he is like the dad. Like right. he is totally well, he like was the dad e- he's the everyman. Yeah, he's yeah. I mean if you <laughs> He's the one guy that's trying to make sense of this. It's probably the best role to get typecast as too. The Everman? Yeah. Well that's like he's the start, everman in castaway. They know? used to call, you know, Julia Roberts, you know, America's sweetheart. He was kind of America's go to guy, you know, he he could play that pretty character. Much, pretty much any any and now he's American. Pretty much dad. any white man in, in America could, could could relate to him. Yeah. Basically. He's also done things that are kind of, I mean, in this day and age, I would say is controversial. Try to do a Forrest Gump movie now and have somebody that is. Well, he didn't, not go, he slow didn't go full retail. Play. I mean, I mean he didn't try, go to do, full try to do Philadelphia. Philadelphia. The man had yeah. AIDS. Terminal. Like, he's he's done a lot of, uh, you know, a lot of random things. Terminal was a good movie. No, Cloud Atlas, right? Cloud Atlas. I never saw that one. I haven't seen it yet, but I, I know it's, you know, it's. It's sta- Lady it's Killers was very against any character he'd ever played. Yeah, he played like a southern yeah. swindler kind of. Played that uh, that 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 sneaky salesman archetype, I guess. Yeah, the the that one didn't snake do, oil. That one didn't. That one wasn't not, a very good movie. No, it didn't do. And the director was the movie any good? I never watched it because yeah. it just got panned. That was a remake, right? There was an earlier version of that. I want to say the Coen Brothers did that. They wait, did. Wait, which uh, one? Lady Killers. Lady Killers. I never saw that one. I, I mean, it was definitely, it was either a remake, I think it used to be a play. And you know this is 80s, you had the whole credit card to open a door trick. <laughs> Still do that. What kind of card is that? The... Diners Club. <laughs> hey, that's 80s. I just like yeah. to see, I just like to see, like, defunct businesses in these movies. Yeah, yeah, it's the shit. And he's just like, knock a window out of this house is a piece of shit. Hey, Rumsfeld. Hey, yo, man. I want to introduce you to my friend. This Steve Koontz. <laughs> Steve Koontz. Steve Koontz. Hey, dude. Watch the show this afternoon. Great. <laughs> <laughs> the kid's a meatball. Yeah. Got that tilted camera going. So that Dutch angle. <laughs> Corey Feldman will always be immortalized for me as being the voice of Donatello yeah. in the original Ninja Turtles movie. Are you serious? Absolutely, I'm serious. No shit. Yeah, I haven't oh, yeah. seen that one in a while. Do I we mean, need to put that on the list? Oh man, yeah, I think we should. Well, that put was it on another. That was another callback. Um, the the guy that in the original dub of Akira, the guy that did the voice of uh, uh, Kaneda was the original voice of Leonardo. Leonardo. In the in the in the first in the first yeah in the first dub. In the do do we want to mention what happened with Akira now, or we want to just we can do it later? Yeah, let's not talk. This about is it. another great line. 
Hey, hey Ricky, get this lame-o off my yard. You know. Hey, man, piss off. Ricky, Yo. get this lame-o out of your yard. <laughs> lame-o. Get out of my yard, lame Hey, he hey get out of my yard. This is, and then this big, tough military guy, look, watch. Is animal, he, crackers. animal crackers. He bites the head off first. Yeah. Bites the head off the animal cracker, because that's how you're I supposed mean, to eat an animal of, cracker. What kind of animal... That's how you eat them. Doesn't bite the hell. I mean, that's the only one, humane way to kill animal cracker. Jeez, these old places have got to be hell to eat. I know. Look at that thing. Dude, that's. I want that. That's, I, that's, that's demonic. a sweet movie prop right there. Maybe that's why. Still got the I wonder what they, other they movies the tilted, that was in. They have the tilted was say, angle in every. Yeah, it's still every time they're in the Clopex ha house. Kind of off. Yeah, yeah the, 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 the. Is that was it's called the Dutch angle? It's called the Dutch angle. It's kind of tilted. Just to kind of get, let the viewer know it something's not quite right, you know. Yeah, well, it puts you. It puts you like. Uh, it's supposed to make you a little un, a little un, un, unnerved, yeah. Yeah. Uh, on edge. Well, it's, it's unnatural, right? And it's almost a subliminal thing. Like most 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 people wouldn't even notice it. It just kind of it's there. Well, I mean, there's there's so many there's so many things that even with these movies and these movies Who? are considered like masterpieces of filmmaking. The thing is a great movie, but all the movies we've done, they they all incorporate all these different same things. We talk about the story. We talk about uh, the isolation and all these different yeah. kinds of things. Like kind of applies to this too. They're even, all every shot. Usually in these kind of movies, every shot is. It's kind of a callback, or it's it's something that's trying to implement. deliberate. I think yeah. it's it's they're more deliberate than a lot of people give credit. Oh, there's for. so much more that's deliberate than we even uh, yeah. can get into. Yeah, oh. even pick up on. Oh, you're looking at a very small cast of, of people. You're looking at the thing, which is an extremely small yeah. cast. You're looking at the burbs, which is kill an extremely somebody, small Rumsfeld. cast. Tremors was the same way, small cast, ice, isolated. You're following and they're not the same like seven or eight people, and that's all you're seeing. Yeah. There's no extras really, well, other than like these people here. Throwback connection then. Yeah, they're not they're not stranded on the street, but you never we never go outside of this. Don't go outside of it. Yeah, either. they're we're, both uh, they're both character driven movies. We're so. always yeah, yeah, yeah. we're always on this at, street. At base. Yeah. Need that. <laughs> I'll call in and tell them. I just wish Keith Davis was was, was in this one too. Ah, <laughs> <I> too. <did> <laughs> No, yeah, he shows up at the end. He's one of the cops that shows up at the end of the movie. Fuck you. Is everybody yeah. on this goddamn yeah, street crazy? Man, goddamn, all you white people. Everybody on this goddamn street's crazy. Knock out the power in the entire block. Probably the whole south end of town. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> I can only imagine the non-white people that watched this movie when it came out that was like, God damn, white people are fucking weird. Is this what it's really like, like in the suburbs? What are they doing? This uh, made black people scared of white people. And for like, anyone, man, for anyone watching this movie with us, yes, this is what white people are like. <laughs> yes, this is a factual uh, account. In case you guys didn't know, every single one of us have a five hundred and sixty thousand dollar house. <laughs> and we've because, been we've been walking up and down the streets while we've been doing this because podcast, we're white. staring at other people because we're white. Because we're white. What was that 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 thing with uh, Home Alone where like the guy lives in? Well, shit. Even uh, oh yeah, that in a lot of those Steve mansion? Martin kind of movies, they live in like these gigantic. Beautiful, nice house. Exactly. It's, like, it's just like, it's very how do they afford that house? Yeah, hey, what are they? Hey, talking about Home Alone, uh, that's probably why Kevin McAllister was afraid of his uh, basement furnace because it looked demonic like that one. Well, see, whenever you were, when y'all were, when you were commenting on that, I immediately thought of the Home Alone, the furnace mm -hmm. at the bottom. I just screamed at him. Well, that's what I was saying when you were talking about it. I was like, I wonder what other movies that furnace has been in. I'm googling y'all. <laughs> you googling the him furnace in a now? It's yeah, a fact yeah, check. It's well. a fact check. <laughs> Oh my god, I still think Walter. Why would Walter be buried like seven feet down? Yeah. You dummies. You idiots. Even the, uh, Tom Hanks, the guy would be like, yeah. man, come on. You were supposed to be smarter. Uh oh. Right. Uh oh. Twist. Here comes a big twist. Here's old Walter. This is the part where you go, oh shit. And so they are all crazy because yeah. Walter's just fine. The trash is still in the street. <laughs> Corey Feldman, where are your parents? This has to be the just the very next day, or this is the weekend because the trash guys haven't come back. Well, they he already said he. Well, I mean, the, it up. okay, so his parents is like kind of another part of the the commentary on suburban living is you know you live in the suburbs oh, yeah. because you. Well, he's a latchkey kid. The, you, right? work the, you work in the. They work in the. the they work in the city. Yeah. yeah feel so safe. They're... It's a good, safe community. Yada yada. You can leave yeah. your kid there. Yeah. You can leave your okay, kid for days, yeah. and the neighbors will keep an eye on things. He's been a latchkey kid for like, you know, ten years. This big blink that he does. He has such an expressive face. Hey, let's take this shot for Walter. 
May he's may may, for, may forever may he live. Oh, okay. Because that's what I've been worried about this whole movie. I've been worried like, about Walter's well-being the entire time. Like, you think he's he's coming back, right? Just bring back Walter, his annoying ass dog. Listen up real carefully, Mister. <laughs> his kids look like real assholes. <sighs> they do, don't they? I mean, they are assholes. They didn't even give a fuck about his dog, right? Can I ask? If, yeah, I didn't if, see anybody listen, pick that dog up and be like, "We should take care of him if, while if Walter's I, gone." If I ever have to go to the hospital, well, Tom Hanks, they, yeah, if, Tom Hanks still got if it. If I ever get injured or have to go to the hospital for some more unforeseen problems, you guys are gonna like, I'll go get, get your dog. Get my dog, right? Okay. Oh, absolutely. She won't. She won't no, follow just, me. Just but <laughs> I got, I got <laughs> two, two. So. I, got, I don't know about the the Apollo, but I can definitely take care of. It. We would maybe roam around you your neighborhood both. to see if any of them killed you and then start digging up in there. Yeah, their yards, I might start digging up your yard. Yeah, you live in a shady, shady location. I'd say. People, and they're they're in my parents' house and they're they're eating all their food. <laughs> That's called damage control. Yeah. That's probably the main this sewer, is, eh? Yeah, he just hit a gas line. So they're digging a hole. and See, I think this is where I zoned out. I haven't seen much of this. Oh, yeah, that is a gas I didn't watch line. It all I hit the gas line. line. I didn't watch it all the way through either. It's gas! All those candles sitting around down there, too. <laughs> There's <laughs> candles lit all over the, <laughs> the, the basement. There's just a lazy Susan of candles. <laughs> yeah. This movie might entrance. actually have two or three of my favorite Tom Hanks lines of all time. Now that I'm seeing the house explode, yeah. I'm remembering a new one. Well, there's Dude. yeah, there's a line, <laughs> and it's it, it might I, be the best. Yeah, I really do. When he's talking to the ambulance Carrie driver, Fisher. Oh, you, yeah. That's some very Roadhouse esque explosions. Yeah, we got a big old explosion there. You know, you got your money's worth of the explosion in the '80s. You got to yeah. show it four times from different angles. Yeah, you want to have multiple because they could only do that once. So they that's it. They probably spent all okay, day. So I got, I got a, I got a, I got a weird. Uh, oh, this is kind of interesting. I don't know which one, but one of the cops is a guy. He was in Heat. He was in Con Air, GI Jane, Point Whoa, Blank, geez. Uh, Blow, Knock Around Guys, which was all right. So he's just like a. Uh, he's one uh, of those guys that played a cop. No, I like, I like, characters. Characters. I like well, another <laughs> character. I guess. He's a Michael Winslow type guy. One of those, that guy that was in that one thing. I like right. Knockarounds. You don't know his name, but you've seen him in a dozen movies. This is so This great. is great, too. <laughs> it's, coming out. it's so this Looney very, Tunes. It's like very <laughs> smoking. <laughs> what he, what he, the, the stairs, very physical comedy. What <laughs> 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 I shot. Uh, this, right, this right here. So he's still trying to... The, he's still uh, trying he just to, slides down the stairs. Oh, that's, shit. He's that still was, trying to maintain some kind of semblance of like I, composure. At this point, he's just like. <laughs> is he, missing, it, is like he missing a part of his finger? Oh, uh, his hands all fucked up. <laughs> he's, I mean, he's been blown up. Hey, he's been. Hey, hey, tell me you found it. You, you found it, right? Before everything went off, you had to have found it. You got lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. You know, so we're, so si we're sitting at like we're sitting at like. 15, 15 minutes left, oh, uh, yeah. including yeah. the credits till the end of the movie, and we st we're pretty much sure. Why are you coming back in the middle of the night, Carrie Fisher? We're pretty much we're pretty much sure that like the, the suburbanites are like, the oh, psychos. Y'all are completely crazy. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Assholes. You're like shit. Well, see, at this point in the movie, I can relate to this because there's always the weird people around us. You know where we go and we hang out and everything, and we we make prejudgments on people big time. A lot, I do. Like yeah. I'm like, man, this oh. guy's weird. I ain't talking to this man, dude. Man, that house burns down. Their their home value just no. go way up. way down. Oh yeah. Yeah. Well, it's gone once it's cleaned up, and you don't have that shitty house in your block. Oh, that's true. Yeah, it does. And somebody it does. buys that lot, and builds it. And then also the they Eastern European minorities move it. out of the <laughs> neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> hey you. The, the kids are like trying to mosey onto the. This really is Carrie Fisher. Like, like it was like this movie. She acted in this movie like. After Star Wars long enough, but like before she kind of hit her kind of, mm -hmm. she started getting weird. Yeah. I like it. <laughs> you cut your hair. Was that Walter taking oxygen? Yeah. He wasn't yeah. hurt. 
Oh, here well, he's here. probably just freaked out. We fell off a damn roof, Aaron. I mean, no, that's the Rumsfeld. Oh well, yeah. Well, I mean, Walter probably had a stroke or a heart attack. That's why probably. he's been he gone. Just back, yeah. He just gets back and he watches a house explode. What about the wig? What about the wig? They found a they found a wig in this house. His wig. Topics were picking up his mail for him. Seems that the doctor somehow got that wig mixed up with the news. So you're telling me of all the people on that street, Walter picked the Clopex. To go well, he, to pick up well, his he mail. Obvi he obviously didn't like anybody else. You know? Maybe. He's like, hey, they just moved here. They haven't pissed me off yet. Yeah, everybody else is a bunch of assholes. Uh, yeah, I don't trust these think, other people. So. I think Walter is an old gay man, and everyone else is way too judgy. I think that's, I, <laughs> it's I possible. I, that's, my, that's my theory I've yeah. crafted. That's why he picked the weird uh, Polish people. No, he just, he said he said daughter and son. I mean, it doesn't mean he's, he's not the old Nah, he's still an old gay man. Hmm. And then... <laughs> Tom Hanks just is not listening to anything this guy says. <laughs> he's just. Poor old man claims he's got a ransom. <laughs> he's you seeing right through him. his dog. <laughs> Do you hear me, okay, Mr. Peterson? This right here. I really do like your hair. Honey. <laughs> he doesn't give a shit what he's saying. Don't give a fuck. Well, the whole the whole way he was going, he was like, he had this partial feeling, I guess, like we are, where it's like everything we're being too much. But then he also had this like compulsion to like figure it out. So it's it's, it's the same like reluctant hero yeah. trope, I guess. You right. But now now he's like now he's yeah. like Walter, you're in the wrong. Yeah. He's like, like we've we're been doing everything fucked up from the beginning. Yeah. We were the crazy ones. Well, it's kind of it's kind of his fault. I'm a shell of a man because. Of you. <laughs> See. <laughs> Soldiers. <laughs> Get off that case already. They didn't do anything to us. They did. <laughs> Can you blame them? They live next to the house. <laughs> <laughs> they burn it down. They're gone for the day. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of a good message that they're trying to put across. Though. Yeah. Just fucking leave people alone. They want to keep to themselves. Who the hell, Skip? There it is. That's the story they Art told earlier. Oh, that's right. That's right. It's us. He's doing the synopsis for the whole meaning behind yeah. it. The whole movie, really. We're the ones throwing garbage, garbage in the street and lighting fires. <laughs> we're the ones who are acting suspicious and paranoid. We're the lunatics. Us. On all Spoon it's Street. Them. <laughs> it's us. I love that. <laughs> this. <laughs> I don't know what to say. What, do you want me to move? You want me to move? <laughs> 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 I miss this Tom Hanks. I really. Do. I know. That's uh, me too. I, me too. He's great at everything. I mean, he, he he's. Does, I mean, but... okay. So like, he's not. He's. He's just being Tom Hanks. Just but this a... is. This is. It's putting that in. He adds a bit of credibility to all of this. Take me to the hospital. Minute, Take me to the hospital. I'm. I've sick. been blown up. I've been blown up. I'm sick. Yeah. <laughs> I'm sick. I've been blown up. <laughs> he just throws it in there. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> he's a child. Dude. Uh, well, he needs a bunch, he needs, of, bunch look, of man child. He needs to finish the rest of his vacation. Okay. All right. I'll just <laughs> look how fucking dirty he is. And he goes, look, he goes. Follow right along. She just saw this. Okay, Smart honey. <laughs> I mean, okay, so she, in this, her character is probably yeah, the, fine, Carol. the best wife. Oh, ever. Like, she's insanely patient. She's totally fine yeah. with him Not and his once weird does, friends does she, hanging out Does she seem like she's, like, angry at him or anything? Like she's just like, okay, yeah. Just... A little annoyed. She got a little annoyed. irritated annoyed. with well, him earlier. Annoyed, but it's never to yeah. the point of where you're thinking, like, she's... Even when, he's, yeah. when he sends her and the kid off so they could have that day alone to go break into the house, yeah. she's like, why, why do I get the feeling you're, like, trying to get rid of me? Like, it was <laughs> uh -oh. so obvious that he was Arch trying to get rid of oh, her. Yeah, Arch, yeah. Arch, guys, look. Double twist. I'm so sorry. You know, Dr. Dr. Klopek, when I get out of prison... I'm when I get out of prison? <laughs> I'll even do something he's very accepting. Though, yeah, he's like, yeah. this is happening now. <laughs> he's like, maybe I'll finally get my vacation. I can go get away from my fucking neighbors in prison. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, he pulled the, he pulled the everyman uh, husband. He's like, I got a lot of tools. I got I some tools, yeah. <laughs> I got a Craftsman credit card in the Maybe. 80s. Ooh. Yeah, that's a callback to the beginning when he's like, yeah, I got this toolbox for Christmas. Well, it's a typical suburban neighbor thing. It's Everybody's lo got Loan him a lawnmower or yeah. some shit like that. Don't fool me. I don't? No, you don't. I'm, I'm 
missing something. Yeah, when I first saw this and this whole scene was happening, yeah. I was like, oh, shit. So, well, they were right all, all Yeah, along? well, it's, it's a... Are you serious? It's, like, it's very it's, slowly, you start to go, oh, shit. I mean, okay, there, Tom Hanks is I, I saw alone, like... And and this, I, this I is an extreme Dutch him. angle, too, right here. Like, this is an extreme angle. I do, I just I give them so much props so for my skull for sick, doing dude. for doing a oh, yes. this wasn't a blockbuster but this was kind of like a this was intended to be kind of like a mainstream like everybody can, can interpret this as Tom Hanks like right. Carrie Fisher like but like we took the house they waited until like the last like we have I offered to buy we have nine minutes left the trailer the or the the end credits are probably like four okay. so like the last. Possible. They, they went moment. 90, 90 to ninety five percent of the movie without giving you the answer. Right. Yeah. They waited till the la like the last tiny little sliver of the film is yeah. left. When you finally realize that they that are, he was right the whole time. Yeah, it's so, insane. So this guy's about to kill Tom Hanks with an injection of Mountain Dew. <laughs> Did you notice that? Oh, I mean, man, back, yeah. What was back then? That was, it wasn't to your Surge. Oh, uh, no, it's there was no Surge. Dew. It was probably they had Squirt no, or they had Mellow, 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 Mellow Yellow. They had Mellow, Mellow Yellow. Yellow. Yeah. Mellow Yellow. No, they no, no, no. Dew. Hold on. I'm going to fact check y'all. Yeah. Mountain Dew is a lot older than you think. It's and Mellow, Mellow Yellow was Coke's answer to Mountain, Mountain Dew. Dew. Right, right. That was, that, was, that was how they tried to you know do the same thing. Do you all remember who the spokesman was for Mellow Yellow and Squirt? Homer Simpson? I don't know. Ernest. Ernest? That's, where he, got, that's where he got his start. Oh, can we put one of those movies on like here? Like, Ernest, Ernest, Ernest started sure. with being the, a as long as you, the, the Halloween, Halloween as long one. As, yes. As long as Ernest scared yes. stupid. Ernest scared stupid. Scared no, stupid? Yes. Really? Yes. Oh, come on. Go to camp. camp. Yes. I, like, I also like Ernest Goes to Army. The Halloween Goes to one. Camp. Nope, it's and on this, the, is, uh, yeah. this is great, too. This is great. This, this movie is just full of so many great lines. You're not going to kill me with that Mountain Dew injection. Like, why doesn't he just roll off the gurney? <laughs> he's trying to hold that arm so he doesn't fucking well roll that direction. They only have five minutes to just so Mountain happened to open up the trunk. Yeah, that trunk pops for open. people to be able to see what's God inside. Damn, Mountain Dew was created in 1958. <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's a lot I'm older than people you think. Under citizens arrest. Speaking of Dew, citizens arrest. Don't start with me, Carol. <laughs> Murdered the naps. He's demented. Hey, hey, Sherlock, get the cloak next to tell you where they buried. And Art is so happy right now that, oh, yeah. that Ray's back on his side. He's redeemed. Yeah, he's yeah, he's he jumps in there. He has, like, he has absolutely no concept of like how other people feel. I love those ah. those lights, the hey, green, that's, the that's green a lot and more red. than the naps. That is a lot more than the naps. Yeah, that's a lot more than just the naps. There was something I found that that top ten like like trivia things about it and they said that they shot the ending like several times really this, here's here's another great line coming up hey Pinocchio <laughs> come on where are you going come on tackle him Runsfeld tackle him <laughs> he just slips <laughs> and then <he> slips. <laughs> oh my gosh there's there's a very physical comedy aspect in this movie you're like kind of I wish physical comedy worked anymore it doesn't like it used to no the days of the three Eighteen months in the bush. Huh? Eighteen months in the bush. Looney Tunes. See, now he's like, I'm the expert. I've, I've been saying it right, all right, along. Right, right. Yeah, he's had it together this whole time. Yeah. He's, he's the man with he's the He's never mouth. messed up. He I've been a, saying it. He probably has more lines than anyone in the movie. Probably, yeah, actually, to tell you the truth. The dumbest he's guy the is always the one that talks person. I mean, he's in most of the scenes, and he says the most. He's a quick yeah. talker. Yeah. In any group, the dumbest one is usually the one that talks the most, because they... Feel like they have to. Well, they're so dumb they don't know when they need to shut up. They don't, that's oh also, yeah, they're always constantly trying to prove themselves. That's also way. how it is in real life. Yeah, yeah that's yeah. what. Yeah. Look at this shot. There's some random guy riding a bicycle by. <laughs> we haven't seen him throughout the well, whole movie, is, but he's definitely yeah, riding where did by all these, now. Where did all these like, other people come where from? Where are all these people from? Hey, we're going to chunk they're, all they're the extras suburb. into the dead end of the movie. They're, they're one street over, dog. They're in the suburbs. I mean, they hear the sirens and they're all they're they're, they're well, busy bodies. There's no telling where this is, but like. There's suburbs that like go on for miles. Oh yeah, and nothing ever goes on in this town or neighborhood. Look, they're in their robes. To just random couple walks by in their bathrobes. Let me tell you something. I'm, I've been in my robe the whole time. I feel, I Here, feel, here's no, another. You actually hey, were in your I'll, robe the whole time. I feel liberated. Your wife's home. Uh. And your house is on fire. Look at her. She's and your house pee. is on fire. Yeah, and then Art's response. She's a Tupperware of My wife is home. Who cares about the house being yeah. on fire? His your, wife is home. Your wife's home and your house is on fire. His little mini vacay is over ran with. the ambulance into it. That's why. For a while, Ricky. Well, that's his payback for all his bullshit. Yeah, and his wife's the short little fat lady. Keep an eye on the neck. <laughs> <laughs> you bet your ass. 
This kid is like, you betcha. You betcha. He's like his hero now. And she's so proud of him. And what did he really like? Accomplish? What are y'all y'all gonna go inside and like what? Go to bed? <laughs> like, I, he's, I'm pretty sure the police probably have more questions for you, and you probably should still go to the hospital. I guess that's out. Is that idea out I mean, now? God, I love this street. Oh, like the fourth wall. Oh yeah, that they was the classic. The that was a classic '80s fourth wall. Break. Yeah, right. Yeah. God, I love this neighborhood. Yeah. Like he was really just put in here to be cool. Yeah, to get the younger viewers in there. Yeah. And there we go. Look, pan, it up. They pan so out. Check it out. They pan okay, in. so apparently this is the only movie where they put. They pan out. Of, they put the universal thing at the end. Yeah, they pan. Think, they pan they out the one. same way they panned in. Yeah. yeah. Oh, see, this is another thing they don't do anymore. Yeah. Oh yeah, the, uh, yeah. I don't know what they do what, Marvel what version y'all are watching, but the one we're watching, they have like a uh, like an like an end credits, like kind of at the end of a play where they all come out and like yeah. bow, like one at a time, and then as a group. So yeah. they were clearly they were clearly a. Uh, this is a Chicago su- suburb, which, it which is that's, lovely, that's kind of what I've Illinois, now Illinois it, yeah. somewhere. It's, yeah. it's in line with our. We we have a theory here at ADZ Movie Night that '80s is for Chicago and '90s is for New York. Well, art art has that kind of that kind of like northern kind of Wisconsin yeah. kind of sounding voice. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It does. Well, I mean, there's there's such iconic films in the '80s well, that are straight Chicago. Well, how y'all? That, that was the verbs. verbs. That, that was, was great. Verbs. That, that was, was awesome. the verbs, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, uh, Chris, this is your first time here. What'd you think? You, did you have fun? I had a good time. Yeah, I had a great time. I kind of sat back and kind of soaked it in, but you know, I had a good yeah, time. Sure. Kind of what I want to do is we talked about like this. Like I said, this was Tim's movie, and we did mine, but we'll talk about that. It was Akira, but we. That, you know, let's go ahead and tell him. Just tell him what happened. Okay, so oh, I guess we'll, we'll use this time to talk about that. Uh, while while the credits roll, so we'll we, talk about we, it. So we, we, we have like a, we have like a pieces of equipment that we use to record this, and one of the pieces of equipment we use is a recorder. It takes these little SD cards. How we usually do it, me, we have four channels. So we have my voice, Aaron's voice, Tim's voice, and then we have like the audio track from the film. It'll do something different this time, but... Whenever I went to load up our Akira episode that we recorded, uh, you were my, missing audio. My track, you were missing audio, my track you? corrupted and failed. So, and because we ha- we all have separate mics, very heartbreaking. It was the best episode. I ever. mean, the only thing I could do is like boost this volume of all the mics, and then it would just sound yeah. like shit. So, right? Yeah. And it's two time. It's like two hours. Like, so so the recording failed. What we think we're gonna do is we're gonna wait like a couple of months and probably do it again. Right, we'll just wait. We'll just wait till it's fresh again. Right, yeah. we'll wait till it's fresh yeah. again because w- that one, I'm, I'm really upset because that one was that was the best. We one. got, we like turned into just like they did in this film. We turned into children. Again. Yeah, like we got really, really, high. really, really geeked out. All right. Well, That's did y'all have, did y'all have fun, Tim? I know you had fun. Obviously. I had fun. You had, you had a good time. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Awesome. We should start doing like at the end of these. We should pose a question. To, to find out if somebody yeah, stayed yeah, till the yeah. end, you'd be like, "Hey, <laughs> okay. if you know we'll the answer you. to this, come up and tell us at Thursdays." Right, just ask, to find out. No, look, any, you anybody, ask anybody yeah. who, anybody who messages any of us an answer to the question, right now, will come up with something. Anybody we'll who answers, something. who sends us an answer to any one of us, will get a signed uh, copy of Careers cassette tape. Or we could be like, okay, so if you were we listening like, to this, what was the name of the street where they filmed this whole thing? What was the name of that? cul-de-sac yeah what was the name of the set where they shot all yeah this? where they shot the burbs if you, you remember we, we told you in the podcast tim you, said it like four times if yeah. you no, chris, chris, said, it like chris said it like 20 oh, yeah. so if you're still time. listening if you send us a message or tell any one of us and y'all gotta get back to block. us of what that is called then uh you win a uh you win a uh, cassette tape signed by greg jr uh, for careers i'll is, buy you a drink and tim will, and tim will buy you a drink <laughs> and i might so, i might give you a handy i don't know i might give you a big old hug yeah i don't know i'm looking over it i'm looking over at aaron right now and it looks like he's ready to give yeah, a handy look at his, look at his so, fucking he's his, been ready all night do your homework you see me, people. You see me? You see me all right all right i'm all seeing right. you i'm seeing well, you well look that was the burbs this is a to z movie night thank you guys for coming thanks for listening if you're still listening thank you tim thank you chris thank you we'll see y'all next time